what's going on everybody what's going on we are here for a new new episode of the chasing panel okay we got myself scotty by nature tv we have giving you the real tea we have um jeremy speaks who wasn't here last night but he's here tonight we got tramel we have jamar and carl wait up K star <laughs> <laughs> okay and we are here for the chasing panel now before we get into all of the things are the things that happened tonight and some of what happened last night because Jeremy has some things that he wants to get off his chest about last last week's episode. But before we get into that, Tramel, you have a new single that's out right now. Don't you want to tell the people about it? You have to be friend. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So my new single, Long Days, is a stream. It's um, available on all streaming platforms. It's a very nice song. It's very vibey, so you can get your hookah, you can get your cigarettes, you can get your your weed or whatever you do, CLB, LBT, TLC, um, and do all that, and you can just vibe out to it. It's about um, a relationship that I once had, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Y'all want to get all up in my business? Go listen to it. Um, yeah, just check it out. Long days. That's long L O N G D A Z E Y Z E. And the link is in the chat. So for those for the people that are mods here, make sure you keep on um, <coughs> posting that link so the people can go and purchase the new single. It's definitely a good song. I've been playing it literally all day. And me too, bitch. Me too, Thank girl. You. I I I I'm here for you. <laughs> Carl has been at work, okay? But you know, I'll you know I'll be your number one fan, bitch. <laughs> Jeremy, you've been playing my song. I ain't played what? Yet, no. You've been playing my song, Jeremy. Um, Jeremy lying. He ain't. I ain't, I ain't played it yet, but I but I'll play it tonight. Oh, hey tonight. JoJo, thank you, friend. Hey Josiah. First of all, thank let's thank Josiah for the all the music that's being played. Yes, that's yes. That's first thing first, and the thumbnail. He he's yes. the creator of it all. Um. Anyway, now before oh well, Carl got an album coming out too. But uh, yeah, King, should I let y'all know when it's out? I'm gonna give you the clips. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now Jamar want to do his parts over, so Chad do. <laughs> What's wrong with your parts? Nothing. Not a damn thing. It can be better. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Well, first thing first, I'm drinking wine tonight, so I'm kind of inebriated. Um, now we're gonna start it off with Jeremy because Jeremy had some things that he wanted to address from last week's episode of Chasing Atlanta. So we're gonna let him go first. Oh, yeah, it was be hilarious. tonight. So we're gonna let him go first. Go ahead, Jeremy, since you went here last week. Well, like it was just like a couple things that you know, because I because obviously I was not there, although that was not my fault. Like, um, I just, I just want to say, like, I really love how, um, you know, they're really good at putting a lot of focus on Rico. Like, Rico was, like, my favorite, um, my favorite person from last season, you mm -hmm. know, so I was really excited about that. I don't really know how I'm feeling towards Oliver now, uh, you know, because y'all know, like, I'm a, I'm a big Oliver fan, you know, I, I relate, um, but is coming across like um, a little bit disingenuous and a little bit arrogant, mm -hmm. you know, towards like the other cast members. So I didn't really understand when he was like, you know, like I haven't seen, you know, my friends, you know, from this cast in a minute, but who give a damn about them? I was like, well, damn. I was like, what was the point? I was like, what was the point in saying that? And I was like, let's be clear outside of this show, you're only like an assistant. Like outside of this show, <laughs> you fixing hair, you fixing makeup, you fixing videos, you doing, you doing, you doing reels, like you do, like like that's what you're doing. But inside of this, inside of this, you know what you want to call like I guess project of sorts. That's where you can like feel where you're dom more dominant than everybody else based on the things that you're doing. But I was like, those type of things can come and go. You can be here one minute. And then the next minute, all of the stuff that you work for can be gone. And I was like, it's okay to have a little bit of humility in the things that you're doing. Although I don't believe in like always being humble, but I feel like it's a it's a certain ego that's starting to develop mm. that I personally don't like. I mean, like I agree with you, Jeremy. I, I can't even front and I, I can't I do either, like I Oliver, too. but I do agree with that. Like Oliver, it is start he's starting to come off like the Melody Sharia this thing. And it's like for all hey, that hey, 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 please, please, you please, ain't even gotta be like Terrence, like Terrence, like Terrence, please do not do that. Like I it's true. please do not do not mention that lady while I'm up here. <laughs> Don't do that. You you are you trying to are you trying to trigger trigger my PTSD? No, <laughs> I'm not, friend. You right, cause I go through the same thing you do. You right. You stronger than me. I I, I ain't got it like that. I, <laughs> I, can't, I can't I can't handle thousands of swarm of old bitches like coming at me. I, I, I can't. I can I can't handle. Yeah, it's like a thousand old ass grandmothers like typing, you know, a hunt like knocking off they like they like Lee press on fucking fingernails trying to tap at me trying to tell me I hate black women. You you gonna deal with that yourself, Terrence? Don't be putting me in that shit. I I, I ain't got nothing to say about Melody Sheree. But like yeah, like I thought I thought that was I thought that was just like like kind of like strange. But you know I guess. But what else? Um, obviously Kendra has some problems, and it's time that we talked about it now. I'm bold enough to say it on the panel. Now, I've been thinking that maybe it ain't alcohol, only the things that Kendra is dabbling in. That I said that, it last week. I, but, but when I tried to say it, but when I tried to say it months ago, y'all was like, oh, no, that can, that ain't Kendra. I can't never be that. Who be saying this stuff you be bringing oh, up? Oh, And hit this bitch, go with, hit his bitch go with his long-term memory old. loss. Let's, let's, let's continue. But, but like, I wasn't I was, the one that said it, so. Like, it's just is coming across a little bit, you know, you know, lines on the desk. Oh dear God. You know, and I I don't I would hate that for her because if anybody know anybody, I love little Kendra. Like they know I love me some little Kendra. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like she I like I, 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 can recite, I can recite <laughs> I can recite some of her raps. Oh but do it right now. Oh, <laughs> um, let me see. <clears throat> Ever since I was 16, you know, I was gonna get in me. It, it was something like that. It was something like that. It's been a minute since I heard it, but it was something yes, like that. Yes, And then I like, and then I, I, I really liked it. Like, so did, did, 
did she make that song? Walk them like is that the same song, or is it just named the that, same? No, I think that's a different song. That's uh, I don't know what the remember that one I'm is. I'm coming in. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. coming in. And oh, I, I thought it and was I'm coming in. and I'm here to <laughs> let y'all know, right here and right now, I am the biggest seven hater on this panel. Oh, oh, we saw. I, I don't like Seven. I don't trust Seven. Her shoulders make me uncomfortable. <laughs> and I, I don't trust, I don't trust her, those guns. Not distrustful shoulders. Those teeth. I don't trust anything about, about Seven. And in this episode, what we're going to be reviewing tonight, I'm going to eat the living shit out of, out of Seven. Period. Now we continue. So <laughs> Okay, all right. Well, seven, I ain't got no problems with you, sis. Okay, I ain't got no problems with you, sis. I just want to make that though. I ain't got no problems with you, sis, because I went up for you last week. I ain't got no problems with you, sis. I just want to make that clear. Disclaimer, I have no problems with anybody, but I'm going to call it like I see it. And that's just right. that. That's just that. It. That's just it, child. That's our Leo sister. We can't we can't go be a gift. I, I mean, but I still got to call her if I see if she's doing oh, wait. distrustful shoulder Wait, shit. wait. I got one more thing. Like, why is, like, why is King Kane, like, why was he kissing Oliver ass like that? I carry been eating that ass. Up. I was mm. like, I was like, it's not, it's not giving yeah. what you what you thought it would have. I was like, why are you coming in here with gifts and stuff like that? I was like, are you just trying to get on the show? Like, I was, it, it 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 seemed a little thirsty. I don't think so. King, don't give me that. I don't know. Um, would you be walking in with gifts for Oliver? Well, that's just me. I don't walk in gifts nobody. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, okay, I'm just trying to figure out why. I was like, why? Why are you giving? Now, was why are you like gifting him? Like, what was it? Like douche bottles? Oh my god! Yeah, he let him know he want love. Pretty much. But what made you insinuate that girl and clean her cootie? And then this whole thing, like, I'm tired of you. I know my body type of bitches. I thought we. I thought those hoes went extinct in 2017. Nope, they still around. Like y'all, like y'all have been paying dicks since I like Le Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio and whatever. Yeah, it's not Leonardo like, DiCaprio, the actor. <laughs> you know, Leo, <laughs> what is like Leonardo da Vinci? Yeah, Picasso, just like Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> yeah, I was like, but I, like, yeah, that whole like, I don't need no douches. I was like, the delusion is is getting deeper with this one. I was she like, may know her body. I was like, okay, sis. Now we understand that you working all these jobs and that you that you are, you know, elevated, but you don't elevate to a point where you know shit is not in your booty hole. Like that 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 does not exist. Oh my god. Like that's not a thing. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> what? Like, like, like you gotta like, like I'm just saying, like you like how does that even work? So do you just clean the outside and just like the inside is just squeaky clean? Like <laughs> Like, how does that work? <laughs> Jeremy, I would like to say I'm glad that you were back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of felt the same way Jeremy did because, I mean, you know, I'm a clean bitch, too, but, bitch, I got douche bottles underneath my damn sink. Like, so, I mean, but, you know, whatever, Oliver, that's your body. I ain't, I ain't fucking you, girl, so whatever. And I was like, and, and my mind, I'm, I'm up here like, I know that bitch has a douche bottle. I don't know why you lying on camera like this. You know you be cleaning your ass out. Like, like who are you trying Like who are you trying to impress? Like, ain't nobody talking about, ooh, I want that nigga with the self-cleaning asshole. Like, it might be no, an ass, but it's, it's like nobody, it's nobody, nobody it's trying, trying to impress. Like, she said it like, I don't need no bitch. She looked at the camera like, I don't need no bitch. Like, bitch, like, okay. <laughs> oh, you want this self cleaning oven, bitch? That's what you want. I'm like, what is going That's on? That's that power wash. And then, y'all, power wash. Like, like, last episode, power like, wash. Like, last episode. Yeah, I can't that. I'm done. On that last episode, y'all, I, I did not know. I did not know Jay Amore been battling the world. Jay Amore said, oh. I got hit by a bus. A truck ran over my foot. No way. My, my kidney fell. I said, what a lifetime movie bitch, is happening. Bitch, I, bitch, I died. I flatlined. They resuscitated me and I died again. Oh I had God. I had worms crawling out of my asshole. My my trick hip is back. I gotta get a hip replacement, and I'm still standing here today. 
Well, and she ain't done yet because that man she was kissing, she ain't with no more. So she I got motor up there. Right. I was like, where's the oh my I was like, where's Wait, the girl. Jay and Moore not with that church queen no more? Y'all watch, y'all don't follow her? It's what all her uh -huh. story. Jay? I'm going to tell you why they broke up. She told me that in confidence, but baby. Yeah. I was like, all of that, all of that, all of them, like near death, like this nigga having a near death experience every day, but he yeah. still have enough time to have a have a um bone straight bust down. Like Ooh. how that work? Jane Moore's life is very interesting. Well, she look cute with her bone straight bust down. I know, but it don't look like she's been facing death for the last eight years. <laughs> well, she don't look like what she been through, bitch. You know, hashtag you know Donnie McClurkin. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go weep in the bush. <clears throat> oh my god! Okay, is that okay? It? Okay, okay. I'm for real. I'm done now. Okay. Okay. So now we can get into the episode. So I'm gonna um shift this off to Jamar to lead us. Ooh, child, this is a lot. <laughs> there's, a lot to, there's a lot to unpack here. Yes, it is, honey. Uh, even with the first scene, you have to break that up into a little section. So <laughs> we still back at down by the barbecue, right? Mm -hmm. And so Kendra then did what she did. So let's let's just break down what we thought about Kendra hopping up, doing what she did, and how everybody was consoling her and what she talked about. You know, kind of delving into what the real problem was. So like, what was what was the takeaway from what Kendra was stating about? You know, her issues with Wayne and. Dominique and everything of the sort. What do we think? Well, me personally, I feel like Kendra is a big example of um, wrong time, wrong place. It's just like you have issues with other people. I, I, how can I put this? Kendra don't make sense to me because it's like you have to <laughs> laugh at other people. And it's just like she turned it into I want to whoop somebody's ass. I want to smoke a cigarette. I got problems with Wayne trans issues my sister died we unpacked 80 different issues in a five minute thing and it's like girl i don't know what you smoking <laughs> drinking i don't know what's happening <laughs> but the fact that she did end up taking a break is something that was well needed Kendra, yeah. too much emotions going on that's a dangerous a, a cocktail of shit waiting to happen and i was just in a state of confusion watching that entire scene i will say i was thoroughly entertained but it was just really looking like, girl, you need to go sit down on somebody's couch, fold your arms together, girl, and just let it all out. I am sick and tired. You coming to Dominique. Dominique ain't a damn thing to you. You and Wayne is mad at this man. He ain't did nothing to y'all. He's been responding to y'all and y'all mad. Now you going to whoop his ass? You did it. I'm confused. You mad about something he said on episode two, season five. Girl. All the shit you done done in between there, you forgot and, all that. And then he apologized for that at the reunion. A long time ago. That's what I'm saying. The state of confusion that I'm in. Like, girl, what are you talking about? She don't even know what she's talking about. So, I yes, mean. girl. <laughs> do us all a favor. Just sit this one out home, girl. Get you some help. Yeah. Get you some rest. Yeah. And that's what you need to do. Just just calm it down. Because you, can, you can't hang. That's how, that's how I feel. I agree with Carl because I too, my name was confusion to the point where I put the phone down and I was finished frying my chicken. I came back, she was still <laughs> frying about her sister. No tea, no shade. But Kendra, I, I, <clears throat> I mean, I understand that you're going through some things, boo, and I am glad that you're taking time away. But I really hope within you taking time away, you're not just at home laying on your couch, smoking cigarettes, drinking Marlboros all day. I really do hope that you are going out, sitting out, talking to somebody. For real. No, for real, for real. Kendra really need, and I know we like to down therapy as black people, and I don't know why. There is nothing wrong with that. That's why they're here. They're not here to make you feel crazy. They're here to give you an unbiased opinion and try to help you cope with whatever it is that you're going on. So there's nothing wrong with therapy, you guys. Kendra. I hope you take me and Tremela, uh, Tremel, because we all feel the same way. Carl everybody, please go and get you some help, baby. Please go sit down and, 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 and give it to the Lord. Give, give, give it to God, but give it to the therapist as well. Because God oh. says faith without works is dead. So you Come need on. to work. Yes. Okay? Ooh. And, and that the scene where she was really like going in and they was you know talking about the trans thing, like Daria really cut a lot. Like, y'all know Kendra can go on and on and on and on and on again. Not to take away from the topic, but it's just like, 
we were standing there. For, we were there for a good bit. We was there. Shout out to Dario for top tier editing, because Shell. And once he once she started going in on Wayne, I said, "Oh, this is just awkward. This is really awkward." <laughs> I think her real issue is, um, which I hope y'all bear with me while I go through this um, clusterfuck. <laughs> I think her real issue is that <clears throat> I think she feels like all the things that are happening to her are happening to her because she's a trans woman. A woman of trans experience i feel like she thinks that you know her losing her sister and then all these people beating her down is like an attack on trans women and i think she's like melding all of that together and she's just like i've done the work i've helped people i've helped you wayne i've helped i've, I've been good to you dominique like i've been good to all of y'all and y'all all y'all do is talk about me and all y'all do is attack me for my transness for my for, for my look for everything that I've done for y'all. And like, they're killing trans women in the streets. So why y'all trying to do this to me? Y'all know what's going on. Right. And I think that she was just a little bit fed up. And of course there was some alcohol involved. And so I think all of those feelings just came out and it was just directed at everybody because she feels like nobody really supports her in her <laughs> transness. And she supports everybody whether they're trans or not. Like she she really is a good person. Like I've always seen her. She's always shown up and been happy and smiling and stuff like that. So I think she just does need to take a, some time away because that environment just wasn't really good for her. I get it. But you know, even Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> oh I was just you know <laughs> Where'd you go, bitch? <laughs> Wait a minute, what happened? Like I don't know uh, what happened, but continue. You got no, it. I was saying, like, even with that, even with support, support, I mean, constructive criticism comes with that. So I really hope Kendra doesn't always take offense to somebody giving her constructive criticism. Don't get me wrong. If some people, if somebody being shady, check them. But yeah, if somebody right. is giving it to you and they're not giving it on like some oh bitch, ha ha ha, but on some like, look, homegirl, let me sit down and talk to you right quick. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I just it's different I, kind of I, drunks though. But Kendra likes to get liquor. <laughs> like me, I love me a good cocktail like everybody else. But you have fun drunks, you have emotional drunks, and you got angry drunks. If you're gonna drink the, the devil's juice, you better know what kind of drunk you're gonna be. I and don't think you really emotional, see yourself, honey, drunk. when you drunk. Do you see yourself? Yeah, hell yeah. I'm a drunk in good time. <laughs> well, well she drunk you before be yelling she and vibing with people though. And if they want to go there, we can go there too. I'm borderline. I could be fun drunk, but if you cross the line, bitch, we can go the other way. Okay. But other than that, we're having a good time. I just, I just want you to be self aware. I don't want you out but here. But I, but see, that's what I'm saying. If I know, like me, I know how I come. Sometimes I can get a lot of liquor in my system, and I don't give a fuck what comes out my mouth. You have to recognize that as an adult that drinks, you have to know that you may say some things you may not want to say. So when you're filming for thousands of people to see, you might want to be like, let me. Let me say no to that cocktail and give me a nice, you know, thought out sentence first before when I. When do you say no? Huh? <laughs> I don't ever say no. I already. Oh, okay. the, whatever comes out of this mouth, I'm always going to stand by it. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oof, yeah. Well, That's my girl. I always stand by what I say when I'm drunk. She get she get drunk, say some crazy shit, then be on her crying next to, next day. You can't do that. After they don't have stand by the shit you do and say. You act like a little cranky head on there, and that's what we are looking at. Oh now. God! I'm just saying Let that's what it looks like. Girl, get wet, yeah. get better. I'm just saying. I'm I'm just calling it as I see it. Not saying that you're out here doing the crack rock. I'm just saying it comes off a little crack rockish, and it's okay. <laughs> but like. But, like, no, seriously, like, I'm currently, you know, battling, you know, the grief of losing somebody that was really close to me, too. And I can completely understand, like, the emotional, you know, ups and downs and the variations of, you know, experience that you're, you know, feeling at the moment. But I don't think that that's, that is okay for you to feel that you can exert your anger, your hurt, your pain onto other people because you're feeling some type of way. I think it's very important that 
as adults, as people, and, and you know, as us coming in this world by ourselves, unless we're twins or whatever the case may be. But even then, so, you know, to have emotional stability and emotional control and to be able to stabilize yourself regardless of any situation that you may be in. It's not okay for you to lash out at people because you're going through something. Because at that same time, everybody is going through something. Everybody is at a state of, you know, of regression in some type of way. So it's no way for you to feel that your pain is more than anybody else's and for you to feel that you can just pounce on people just because you're upset. And I feel that, you know, you conflated an issue with Dominique to justify you like trying to take your frustrations out on him. You sitting here with this cricket wig, like, 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 was like, 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 you know, <laughs> seeping, like, her wig. You know <laughs> seeping, like seeping out Marlboro and fireball juice. Those are Newports. Know. Thank you very much. Newports, white thing, Newports, right? Marlboro, Marlboro shorts in the box, whatever you want to call it. And you sitting here completely looking crazy. And it got to a point where, you know, I was like cringing because I'm saying like, what's the point of this? You don't even know why you're mad. You can't even say what Dominique did at one point. It's about, you know, it's about your, you know, your friend that passed away. At one point, it's about Dominique and these statuses. At one point, it's about this. But my thing is this, you cannot hit somebody and tell them how hard to hit you back. You cannot mm -hmm. victimize yourself and claim womanhood when you are, when you decide to like, you know, play with somebody and they decide to play back. You cannot diss somebody and expect to not have anybody say anything to you. What kind of life are you thinking that you're about to live? And we have to get rid of this whole queen mentality because truth be told, Kendra, like, I oh, love you, that. sir. But ma'am, you ain't no queen of nothing here. I, I just, I, I really need us to, to come to the conclusion that Kendra, you may be a bit delusional and you might, and you have a, you have a intense attraction to drama issues and strife. It's some people, no matter what they're going through, no matter if it's good, bad, or indifferent, they're going to always find a way to bring out the negative in their life and expand that to everybody else around them. And I feel like that is something that Kendra has an issue with. It's something deep seated. It's something that she's gonna have to, you know, get, you know, get situated because Kendra has been having these breakdowns since the first season. Since every, every, every year, your life can't be about to come to an end. At, at some point, life has to start. At some point, you have to wake up and see a bright new day. It ain't, it ain't nighttime forever, Kendra. So, like, I just, I, when, when, you know, she was crying and stuff like that, and all I could think about was, like, somebody, please, Get go down there and go get her a glass of whiskey and a pack of Newports so she could feel better. Like I was, I I was just so confused. I was like, this baby is crying. She need her cigarettes. Oh my god! It was it was really it was really sad to see. But like, I can we go to the next scene, please? <laughs> Why? All y'all got to say what y'all had to say. Continue, Jeremy. You read her freaking wig off her head. I'm only I'm only reading what she's giving me. If 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 like what are we here for? I'm not here to be I ain't, I ain't friends with these bitches y'all are. Well, I'm not. I just know of them people. I ain't friends. Okay. With oh, so so no, I'm, keep going. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I'm sorry. I'm coming. I'm coming from an unbiased standpoint. I ain't got to go to a barbecue and see her ass. So <laughs> at the end of the day, at the at the end of the day, so I'm, all I'm all I'm saying is that like I really want Kendra to get better, and I really want Kendra to really learn how to love herself. <laughs> Like a lot, like a lot of times we feel a lot of times we feel that we love ourselves, but a lot of times we don't. And because of that, it can take it can take form in a lot of negative ways. And I just it was really sad to watch. But I do feel condolences for her loss because I do know that that hurts knowing that you're a trans woman and knowing that your life is in danger and always feeling like your life is under attack. But at some point you have to stop attacking other people as well. That's fair. I'm That's done. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Jamal. <laughs> so, so 
Oliver plays his Yana Van Zant moment, brings, you know, after they don't console Kendra in the front yard, they bring them together and they decide to, you know, bury the hatchet again. But look, we, we want to move forward. I feel like maybe just having a different approach. I can apologize for whatever part I played. They scrapped it. We good. Uh, next, we move forward. So, uh, Seven and Willow have a sit down. In regards to, they said it been a lot of things that were happening back and forth about some people being friends and some people, you know, doing things that the other didn't like and back and forth and back and forth. So they sit down and Seven and Willow expresses how she felt like, you know, uh, I was going through a time with the past. I was trying to reach out and you weren't available. Seven says, you know, I, I can recognize that I didn't do my part in the, you know, in the friendship. You know, I was dealing with things in my own way that probably wasn't the best way. And so they had their back and forth. So what did y'all think of that conversation? Um, I can agree with both of them on that because everybody handles grief in different ways. <coughs> um, I felt both of them on there. And shout out to um, Chasen for the D. Rashawn um, thing. I really enjoyed that. My best friend would be so proud if she'd have saw that. Um, but yeah, just everybody handles. I didn't even realize how much because we had a brief conversation about it at um the at King's um uh, concert party about it because you know it had just happened around that time. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, yeah, people just handle it differently. I, I'm a, I'm with seven. I'm, I'm I, I do the same thing. You would bother me. I would disappear. I would fall the the face off the fucking earth. But she's but she's not falling off the face of the earth. She's just not calling Willard. No, I, no, what I'm saying is that I understand that. But on the other hand, I honestly feel like it's a bunch of bullshit with Seven. I feel like she was avoiding the money. That's okay. how I feel. I do I'm, too. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. And no Tino Shea. No Tino Shea, she was avoiding okay. money. I'm glad that you say that. I got a lot of thoughts about, about Miss Drew. Mm. Now, since last season, I ain't never liked Drew or her shoulders. You know, I or seven or whatever, or whatever the fuck you want to call call her. I think that she's one of the fakest bitches on the cast. I think that she's disingenuous. I think that she's fraudulent. I think that she's a social climber, and I think that she uses people for as much as she can, and then she discards them away. Nothing that she said made a lick of motherfucking sense. For you to bring up that your fucking dog is shitting in the fucking apartment when your friend is literally sitting here battling depression and she's been calling you and you just had, you had enough time to, to, to bring up all of these other friends. I'm friends with Anitra from RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm friends with this person. I'm working. I'm I working. I got that. this call. I got that call. But you couldn't call Will and pay her her money. And that's why you really didn't want to talk to her. That's what you need to talk about. The fact that she that that she as a friend let you slide and, and gave you a friend discount and you knew that you were guilty and therefore you did not want to talk to her because you knew you owe her some money. And because of your guilt, you thought that she was calling you because of that, because you're so fraudulent. You can't really see that a real friend does not even care about that type of stuff. They they like they're calling because they care about you and want that same in return. She didn't give a fuck about that money. All she wanted was to hear from you when she was going through her time of need, like you were going through, like you were going through, when she, when, like you were going through your shit. And I think it's quite funny that, you know, I understand people talking about, you know, I need to take some time to pull away, you know, all of that type of stuff, because I'm the same way. But at the end of the day, I will always extend myself to people who's extended themselves to me when I was going through something. Because last year, when, she, when they were calling her Shamar, and and she was literally getting read down down all throughout the season. Willa was there for her. Will I will I Willa was there for her. And at one point I thought that, that wasn't she staying with Willa because she didn't have a place to stay? No. Oh, I don't know about that. I, I, think, I, I think I remember her saying that last season that Drew that Drew stayed with her for, for a period. So I'm saying that now, all of a sudden, now that you're on the show full time, now that you've gotten all these connections with everybody else, <laughs> now you you have enough time to call them. You can pick up the phone. You ain't dropping off the face of the earth for them, but now you're dropping off the face of the earth for Willa. But now you're up here bringing up other people's names who's attached to other bigger names that you will probably never be attached to. And now you're sitting, and now you're sitting here trying to make it seem as if you know you just had to emotionally, you know, you know disconnect yourself from everything. You wasn't doing that. That's that. That's not the truth. 
at the end of the day, it's the fact that you're a social climber. You use people, and after you're done with them, you discard them away. You felt that at this point, it was nothing else that you could pull from Willie because you got what you needed. You got a full time slot on this show. You didn't have to attach yourself to her anymore, and now you could walk around freely in delusion, thinking that you're a bad bitch when you're really not. Well, you done ran the fuck out this bitch. You really? I, yeah. really like, I really like. I really. I that like when that when she when when Willa is sitting here crying about the loss of a friend. And mind you, Willa is not taking her frustrations out on nobody. Will ain't out here. Ain't out here like you know downing nobody. She's still trying to be a beacon of light for other people. And you sitting here talking about girl, you know. <clears throat> You know, like, you know, at, like stuff just going on, the dog shit on the carpet, you know, is I will I was disgusted. And I was I was real disgusted that Willie even hugged her. Oh I was like, I was like, you should punch this bitch. Like, don't hug that bitch. <laughs> like, you should really punch this bitch. Like, don't let this bitch touch you. Because at the end of the day, at the at the end of the day, her energy's not right. She's not a good person, and the, she's mind you, she's still talking about you. Ain't heard from her in months, but she's actively calling other bitches on the show That's on true. Facetime. Why That's the fuck true. is Dominique calling Seven and is Seven answering the phone, but Seven ain't answered the phone for Willa in months? Man, I mean, you out of phone when you write, you write. That, you're right. Answer. You're right. Scott, you gotta get some of these on here so we can say this to their face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's gonna be a whole different type of show, but I'm here for it. You got a super chat, bitch. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. First super chat from I said what the fuck I said, ho. Um, that's the that's... <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Jeremy is on fire today in seven no street of good pay will of her money. <laughs> Uh -uh. <laughs> it's like you sitting here talking about you got all of these jobs, but you don't, but you can't pay her her money. You got all of these jobs, but you can't pay a hundred or two hundred dollars. So my question is, when she was talking, when she was talking to Willa, I try not, I try not to judge the way that she was like expressing herself, only because I'm not that emotional either. But do y'all think that she was? Sincere, no. Uh, it gave uncomfortable. I, it yeah, gave uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, she uh, she looked really uncomfortable. I know that if I'm having a rough conversation with somebody, I will smile a lot and I will look like even if they crying, I'm like, all right, girl. Well, that's <laughs> well, you know, Tremel. Hell up out of here. Well, Tremel, that's because she realizes that she has to continue this filming with the full cast, and she knows that. It's best for her not to have an issue with Willa because she don't want to get beat the fuck up. Ooh. I mean, that's fair. Is that I, I'm not scared did? to get my ass whooped. Um. Like, so that that's what that is. She didn't know whether she was gonna get popped or not. Mm. That's the I know I would look that way if I was scared to get my ass whooped. Oh. I ain't never scared of that. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> the bullshit bread. The only thing that that really just just threw her whole conversation off the me was when she brought up the dog shit around the house. Yeah, what it the was. They got to do with it. Yeah. She had to sell it. <laughs> you know what, Seven? Sometimes it's just best to say, you know what, friend? No excuses from me. I was wrong. I apologize. That's an adult thing to do a lot. That's people best. Do that. no, to be fair, I have no. met the dog that's Fuck the all of that. The I, wanna, I like want a, a reason why. You could say that you're wrong, yeah. but why did you do what you did? Why, like, okay, you wrong, but what was what was the motivation behind the actions? I, that's what the fuck I don't don't ever come to me just saying, you know what, I was wrong. What the fuck? Why was you wrong? Why did you? Jermail said the dog is a shitter. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I yeah, because when I, 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 I actually Ooh, uh, wait, had I to go I, over there for a meeting with um her roommate at the time, and the dog did piss in the corner, and he had to get his ass whooped. So, so maybe that was sending her through the most. She was probably emotional from all that piss in her apartment. Oh, we. I was the one that, I was the one that gave her the dog. Ah, uh -uh. oh, see, the yeah, dog he, exists. My, he had to go. He had to go. I was calling each one of my friends and said, "Y'all want a dog?" Ah, uh -uh. <laughs> okay. So we have clarity. <laughs> 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 but I, I respect everything you said, Mr. Bearded Milk Dud. I'm screaming. 
So after they have their little one two, then everybody's having fun. We hear the Disney Channel music. Everybody's playing uh, ball and all that good shit. And so we end off on a positive note. I loved it. It's all the way. <laughs> <laughs> so in the next scene, we get Jay with his mans. They looking at this. They looking at this. Uh, this hole that was really small, apparently. It, but she just really big. <laughs> she is a big girl. She's a big girl. <laughs> Jay's just tall as hell. That's it's tall tall big as ass and that little tiny mm-hmm. ass too. Okay. <laughs> right. And it like a dollhouse. Uh, the man has like five kids already, and they're still looking to rent, not necessarily to get the mortgage. Either she talks a little bit about his upcoming fashion show in Chicago. So, what do we think about this scene? Kids. Listen, I, I ain't got no issue with the dude with kids, but a child, five of them. Hell yeah, drain me. I'm happy all the fucking time. I just wanted to put that comment up there because it was funny to me. He House said, on I fire, wanna, I'm smiling. I just want to know like, why. They were talking about cast members, Carl. I just want to know why everybody. Hold on one second. I didn't get to this one over here. Girl, what you say, bitch? I said, they were talking about cast members. They said, why is, ain't no happy cast members to film? Well, they can name? find some if they look. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been, I've been like, I've been campaigning for you to be on the show for a minute. As have I. <laughs> But unfortunately, we keep on. Uh, unfortunately, we keep on getting Drew on the show. I don't. I don't know why. I don't. I truly, well, swap I truly, that Leo, Leo out for another. One. I'm so sick and tired of Drew in those gums and them teeth. I'm. I'm so. I'm so. T. Sick and tired uh, T. Of T. T. What was it? You giving your opinion on some? I forgot what it was, Sean. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, this, this no, I said, is I said, through. I'm not mad at a guy with kids. I think that's cute, but damn, five of them. Five How five old five. are these churn? One thing we got to support that whole little army at the house. That's a church queen, honey. He must be cogent. Five kids, they probably yeah, back to back child, to back. So that's you, already know, you already know what they did. Yeah, that is very You ain't bad, Jay. Y'all, do y'all think he dating him because he got a bag? Because some tells me I don't think that Jay Moore could afford that home one. Oh, all. the bu- the billboard too, the billboard. Now Jay Moore, I've been knowing her for a while. She does live quite comfortably. She does make her own coin. But does she so, make enough to buy a house like that? I think so. She was where she, her last apartment was like downtown. Um, apartment, bitch, apart, downtown. apartments and houses are different. Uh, like no, the least, fuck they not apartment uh, down least, here costs more than a fucking house. That is a true. lease is different from a mortgage though. You have to have good credit. You know all that type of stuff. I'm not saying like he don't bad. have it. I'm not saying her credit bad. I'm just saying that I don't see necessarily. Okay, at this point, you want to fight all the cast members. Okay, I don't. Yeah. I just don't. I'm feeling like you want to fight. Them. When like when I like, I think that Jay Amore is beautiful. I think that I think that he a beautiful glamazon type of type of you know person. Would you give him some? No, but what I'm saying is that I didn't see any level of attraction that. <laughs> Jay Moore half it. I was like, this man looks. You didn't every see that bit. kiss at the end. I saw passion. every. I saw that man looking every bit of Bishop Eddie Long. <laughs> Thank you. That I told y'all he looked like a church the, queen. That, that's what I said. And you know, and you know them church. You know them old church queens. They it's a requirement that you have to at least have three kids. At, at least. And yeah, two of my wedlock. Yeah, right. Right. Because the people in the comments want to know how many baby mamas, and I want to know too, bitch. How many? How many of them is it? Was you married, and then you had them all like that, or yeah, we need more than that story? Yeah. <laughs> well, Carl is friends with Jay. You can supposed to get that tea, bitch. Well, I got the tea on it. It was the other tea was hotter than that, so I didn't care about that no more. Okay, you'll tell me but, later. But real I'll quick, tell y'all I, later. can I actually can I ask a question that we didn't get to talk about as far as this picnic or this barbecue? Okay. Why? Why did we are born come in there dressed like Eartha Kid? <laughs> <laughs> why? Why, 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 why were the why, 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 why were the why were they in cheetah body print suits? I was I was they so had the match. Oh, they are I, was, I was like, what? I was like, they what in the cat woman hell is going on here? Oh I was God. like, these outfits are atrocious. But one thing about We Were Born is that they understand that it's TV and everything they do is for the brand of We Were Born. So at all times, them bitches going to be in character every fucking thing. But We Born you, like that? Best believe yeah. they're going to be in character that's, every that's day. Really, the, anytime that they're out in any public event, that's what you're going yeah, to do. Yeah. Going to, yeah. And I just want to say, Jay Twan is not, is not like, I know a lot of Jay Twan. 
the way that you spell it is different. But I'm saying I know a lot of niggas from J. Twan, from the name J. Twan from the hood. Mm. I, like I went to school with like five of them. Damn. But ain't none of them making no music like him and popping like him, huh? Ooh. Well, I gotta go listen to the music. I haven't listened yet. The like, born? Yeah, I haven't listened. Some hot shit, bitch. You listen now. Shit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go chat. I'm gonna go. But my by the way, I like I I like we were born. I like I I will have some select thoughts about Berlin later. But I'm just saying that Ooh, we child. were born. We were born is cool with me. I just I was just confused about the Eartha Kid costume. That's what I was confused about. <laughs> you talk about when they came in like the Cheetah Girls. Yes, I was I was like, <laughs> what in the Disney Channel hell is going on? Okay, I'm on your side with that too, bitch. I said, uh, and it looked like it was hot I, as hell out there. Yeah, it did. Because <laughs> Kendra was hell. already sweating when she showed up at the front door. That's why. <laughs> oh my god! I was I was I was I was confused, but okay. But back to. Back to Jay and you know Bishop Eddie Long. I'm sorry. Oh my God. Uh, I am not Bishop. Lord have mercy. Okay, we took a U turn, but what was we what was we at? <laughs> but I think this, was there anything left that we wanted to dissect? From no, Jeremy reading the fuck out every cast member one by one. No, I'm not. <laughs> Child. Okay. I'm only dissecting the scenes. That's it. Allegedly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you dissecting the scenes and the people that's in them. Go ahead, Jamar. So the next scene we get Dominique and Anthony. He's meeting up with Anthony uh to discuss, you know, their re their recent breakup, the things that you know, how they're sort of mending their relationship <laughs> how they're now. And after that discussion, uh Anthony brings up the fact that Wayne hit him up in the DMs. He wasn't sure as to why. And, you know, Dominique is not really feeling that, you know, kind of gets upset about it. So what do we think? Okay, I got to go first on this again. Girl, okay. again? <laughs> again. Because let me tell you, okay, I get you're, you have an issue with Wayne, but it was given for me more storyline. If that nigga's my ex, I don't give a fuck who you talk to. It's <laughs> we ain't together. And that's, you got plans of getting back with that man. That ain't your man no more. So and why is that his a, friend? I don't understand why that was like some sort of tea. Bitch, especially if I like, I ain't gonna, well, I ain't gonna name no names, but I've known a lot of people that they wanted to get back at you, they would sleep with your man. <laughs> they will do that. So I don't see nothing wrong with Wayne doing it. Like, well, bitch, if your man fine, I'm gonna get me a piece. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Dominique making it seem like, you know, well, bitch, that's my man, and you just trying to get people around me. Technically, he's not around you anymore because he ain't your man no more. So and I ain't he in like a relationship? I'll put it like this. He was looking like they're not in a relationship anymore, but they still said, I've known you for over eight years. You know, we still have a uh, you know great relationship. We still, you know, have our dogs and whatnot. And he was like, Well, unless he was like hitting them up for like a uh workout thing, it's like, well, why couldn't you like all these other people that what you could matter doesn't matter? You ain't no man. No and more. I'm saying, like, I'm, I'm saying like, and then he didn't even entertain the conversation to at least see what the man wanted to talk about. Like, it was you just a like, he even answered a message. Right, like, I'm just saying, do you just automatically assume just everybody want to fuck you just because they message you, like, in the DMs? Like, I mean, he is I mean, fine. well, when you look Wayne at the reunion, at period, because at their reunion, the first they say, well, that's why Anthony's gone. And then you, you <laughs> climb in his DMs after you say yeah. that. Like, come on now. I mean, but Neek deserved to get read all last reunion. But, a, but answer me this, though. What's the problem with that, though? Why exactly. is Dominique checking that like it's an issue? Like, what is that got to do with you? You and ain't I'll be damned no if I get beat I was going to get an eight years or 80 years. He ain't your man no more. Exactly. And I'll be damned if what I buy it. Like, and I'll, I don't want to get my ass whooped or potentially get my ass whooped over a man that's not even with me, don't want me, and is in a relationship with somebody else. Period. That's crazy. Go ahead, Tramiel. I don't agree with none of y'all bitches. Thank you. Ah, that's <laughs> so let me Thank tell y'all something, and I'm gonna I say agree. This very, very kindly. Right. You've been in a relationship with somebody, and a bitch that you don't like hits your man right. up, and right. you don't give a fuck. Let me tell right. you one thing: you never loved that man. Right. You never gave a fuck about him. Right. Don't know what love is. Right. Don't know what love is. Because I just told love ain't got nothing. Love ain't got nothing to do with that. That's called. That's called therapy. Where you and him, you go. If that's where y'all think that y'all finna start fighting over men. That don't it's not do not belong to you anymore. Let your man go. You and Dominique both go my therapist. You that bitch. And <laughs> no way in hell. That ain't your man. It's not your man. Let me tell you something. That ain't your man. 
You're getting your ass beat fucking with my Well, ass. that's and that's the you and the ass beater need to go to therapy. But I but like but, 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 go but, the, man. Go but like wait, wait, it's let your man finish this point, child. Let your man that has finish happened this point. to me and I don't play those games. Let me tell you, I don't play those games. With your man or with an ex? With my ex. Oh, child. But I'm saying was the was the person that was the person that did it one of your friends? Well, not no more. <laughs> but I'm saying, like him this and Dominique, him and, Dom, him and Dominique are not friends, though. They not Child, friends. They cool. And that's yeah. exactly why Wayne would have got his ass towed the fuck off. Yeah, that's that's just just what Tramiel is saying, and, and I'm on Tramiel side because I'm the same damn way. Nah, nah, I would not to do that. Nah, I feel like you don't like me. You talking to my man, and you right? Like no way. That's like me not to do that. But I'm saying the old man with you, but I ain't trying to go up behind you and follow up behind you in the dirty dick that you run around here scoring on. So why you run around here trying to worry about that? Trying to be funny. What's the purpose of that? Marceau and ain't he married? Huh? That is Somebody. so different. That is not different. <laughs> yes, it is. He's never going to see that man. Who? He's never going to see that man. So that does not count, Jim. Right. Like, you, you, you don't ever know. You don't, we're you don't not going to do that. And that's the whole joke. Like, he's yeah. Really it be your letting that slide, like, then stop. you going to sit around and make somebody else think that it's okay to do some shit like that, too. Nah, you, you got to nip that in the bud when that happens. He's your enemy. He don't got no loyalty to you. There's no way y'all can be no. There's no way y'all can believe the shit that's coming out of my mouth. I don't give a fuck if y'all's got an eight years or eighty. He's not your man no more. You I'll fight over here and I'm George with somebody that don't like you. Fault. It's crazy. It's I'll give fault. Fault. That's crazy. It's I'll give fault. He ain't your man no more. It's he don't uh -huh. want you. I'll so give wait. I ain't going. I would never go behind none of y'all back and talk to none of y'all. I mean, I mean, I like mean, but that, I mean, but but it's crazy. Just crazy. It's crazy. Right? I mean, but nah. T, but T, we're cordial, or, or 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 we are friends on here. But like him and Wayne are not cool at all. That makes it worse. It do. So I'm, so I'm saying, yeah, like, you're so, right. you're so so you're basically saying because you're gonna be up in my and, circle, in my space. Are you saying after, your, after my your man, after your man, like after you and your man break up and y'all completely move on, they have to date somebody that you're that's the problem with? though because y'all ain't moved on yet. If you exactly. was with somebody else, would you still be fighting him because he tried to talk to your ex? Y'all, y'all sound crazy as hell. Yeah, that's crazy. He ain't well, your man. Ain't gotta care he about not your man. We damn do. Let I'm it go. I personally you can still be heartbroken over a relationship. I, yes, I, I'm not crazy. Those, no, no. I, I'm crazy. I personally don't really don't give a damn who my ex talked to. However, however, Listen. however, I am gonna look at you crazy if we if we you know I am gonna look at the person that I don't like crazy for trying to talk to my ex. But well, you don't like them no way. So you that's what I said. Did you just need an excuse to want to whoop his ass because you already don't like the man? That's what we're saying. That's an excuse. Yeah, that's what, yeah. And I'm just saying y'all want to beat the man ass. That ain't got nothing to do with the ex. Let me tell y'all, this is y'all talking. Y'all talking like y'all ain't never gonna see this motherfucker no more. Now, if my ex got to talking to somebody who is not somebody said the comments, Carl talking shit like until we go through. Carl has been through that a million times. Once we not together, you are you are no longer factor to me. Once I'm not, I don't talk to men again. I was with a man for ten years, right? Somebody, I actually, I've been through this. I was with a man for ten years, and somebody I didn't like tried to talk to him to make me mad. He's not my man no more. I don't give a fuck what you You don't even like do. his ass. Y'all can fuck three weeks from Sunday. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That ain't mine no more. I'm going to process my emotions by myself. You don't like that, man. I'm not fighting you I'm, because you're like, somebody I used to date. Like, girl, girl what? Well, like, my, my, question, my question I'm is... I'm trying to get you to understand that it's nothing wrong with talking... If I don't like somebody and they try to talk to my ex, if I'm never going to see this person again, I don't give a fuck. But if you're going to be playing in my face, be around my circle, they're in a filming situation. Bitch, do not talk to my man. He don't owe you no loyalty, bitch. Exactly. But you get this ass whooping. You should have met. Well, do, then, then just say that. You just want to whoop his and ass. Thing, Girl, that's thing, what I said. And the thing is, let's be real. That man is not about to touch Wayne. That man don't want Wayne. That that's man what, is, let's talk that about man, that for a minute. That you know, man, that's that my man brother. Is, but the Wayne fact that you even tried it, that man is because, because, bitch, you know that my man, man don't want you. That, that man is, is probably with another one of those muscles. That man is probably with another one of those muscle-bound gym gays at He's this not. point. In a, We've in a seen whole... the man. We've seen the boyfriend. He's fine. 
He's cute. That's what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, he in a whole relationship with somebody else. Girl, you're mad over what? Because at the end of the day, you're going to be going home, not to him, but to, a, but to a knot on your head because you're fighting over a man that is not even with you. you Come on. Crazy. Come on, Jeremy. Spill, spill it, bitch. I'm not. No, I'm not saying that it's okay for friends to try to come at other. Like, I would Carl, never I'm gonna talk to nobody. After, I'm going to get you after this. I, <laughs> what I, would I, mean? what I, to no, oh, bitch. I would never I talk to nobody. Oh, bitch. I got some You ho. <laughs> I would never talk to nobody talk about that, no, I, that I'm bitch, cool you with, but fight. I'm just saying. It don't, it don't make sense to me. We know who you fight, honey. Yeah, my my current man. Hell yeah, because he's mine. <laughs> Shit. Once he's not mine, I'm not fighting that bitch no more. <laughs> Girl, please. <laughs> I Girl, you fight, fight for what belongs to me. I'm, I'm not, not fighting for a bitch that don't ain't with me no more. How, 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 how you fight all your niggas, but you won't fight a bitch over your man? Because my mouth is slick, and sometimes a bitch want to punch me in it, and they do well within your right. But I'm fighting back, bitch. <laughs> That's just that. Fight me, bitch. <laughs> Not bitch fight. I gotta hear the story Scotty, about the hammer, like, bitch. Scotty, to me, girl, it, shut up, bitch. Like to me, Scotty, it would have been to me more effective. If you know Dominique just shrugged it off, like child, that shit tired. Like I'm not even worried about that. He tired. I mean, he wants something I had. That's how I have. I don't know. I just wouldn't have printed. I wouldn't have took the time to print out a screenshot of a man's DM that I'm not with because of a motherfucker who he probably would never touch in life. Skip and say it. It just, it just, it just, it just, it just read to me. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'll I'll say, yeah, I say y'all stand alone with that. Which, uh, well, the two of them down there. If so, you would fuck up a nigga that was trying to fuck yeah. your ex, and you knew that bitch, you know, y'all knew y'all didn't like each other. Raise your hand if you would fuck him up. Raise your hand if you didn't like a bitch and you try to fuck that man. What? <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Okay, so what he did? Now what? I know Scotty was raise your hand, Scotty. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so it's the moral girls against the nine. I, I don't like did. the bitch no way. So I'm a fucker, man. Y'all bitch. have no morals. I ain't never did that. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, know, I, I remember. It, I remember it was somebody I did not like too fondly, and their man slid sure my DMs, and I fucked him just out of spite. Just out of spite, bitch. That's, I would do it. That's, too. that's 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 you. You need therapy for that. I sure do. I'm a, see, the first step is admitting it. I know I did. Did you go? But I'm not about a grand time. The, the second time. It, 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 it was a good investment. It was a good investment. Mm -hmm. Who was the top? Well, it was a very situation. I flip flop. So. Not me. I got fucked down, bitch. Booty hole. Booty, bitch. <laughs> I don't have to. Oh my god. Booty conversation. Booty conversation. Oh, honey. Next scene we get is the. He uh, folded me up like an Annie's pretzel, bitch. <laughs> okay. Occupation <laughs> for Troy. Okay. Now he folded you up like some clothes with you. Hello, in. Uh, Oliver. The top of that bitch, like. They also had their body weight. <laughs> they recap the barbecue. They talk about how Kendra was, you know, doing a lot. And Willa and Oliver talk about how they done mend their fences. And then Oliver brings up King Kane, and Troy is just like, girl. I can't with her. What we gonna talk about this thing? I want to go get my body done a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually trying to look for the place about, this is like something out of scene to see if I can go get a cool scuff in the car. We going? <laughs> when tonight? Not tonight. Maybe oh. tomorrow. Oh, okay, tomorrow. Period. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> we gonna get them little tummy parts, the little the little underbelly. Because I was looking, good. they said. That, that little sauna situation for 500 calories. Yeah, bitch, I need that. Oh, I just need four of those, bitch, and it's over with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hollering. But the scene was cute. Um, it was it, yeah, I mean, it was just cute. It was short, and I like that. <laughs> yeah. A lot of the scenes are short this season. I appreciate it. <laughs> and I, mean, I appreciate it. it was, they got right to the meat and potatoes. On That's like, it. That's all we yeah. did. Okay, we were. Yeah. Kendra ain't going to be around no more. All the Oliver and Willa made up. Um, and the King Kane and Troy now have an issue involving Dominique. So we, okay, we know all me, of that. And they everybody. So let me ask a question with that. Do you guys. Is King Kane the problem when it comes down to Troy and Dominique? Or do y'all think that Troy and Dominique are making him the problem? I'm not sure yet. We ain't seen enough. Yeah, of I ain't too sure yet. Yeah. I think I. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a whim and say of that. Of course I you will. Yeah, well, of course I, you I, will. I'm gonna say 
like don't I be said, assuming y'all, y'all, y'all friends with these bitches at the end of the day you I'm keep gonna, on saying I mean, y'all I'm gonna, I'm gonna read everybody the ain't friends with it. these people everybody I don't, these I don't, bitches I don't from know the bottom friends with scotty but i'm gonna say that um obviously <laughs> <laughs> obviously, Troy, Troy. Oh, I'm gonna need some obviously, Troy. I like <laughs> Troy. I, I like Troy. I like Troy a lot. I'ma say I don't I don't know if Troy necessarily felt as deep about the friendship, maybe as Dominique did, you know, because those like those best. But models. let me interrupt you for a second, because you just went in on seven, and I feel like the domi- the dynamic between Dominique and Troy is pretty similar to Willa and Seven, and I feel like Troy would be more of Seven, and Dominique would be more of Willa. I, I don't, feel like, I don't, I don't sense that. To be honest, I mean, this is no shade because I, I love them both, but Troy really hasn't done enough or a, a lot to me, and I feel like he clung to Dominique because Dominique's doing a lot more than he is. Mm. And when he got where he needed to his solidified spot, he really didn't need freaking frack no more. And I, I feel mean, like it's the same I thing mean, with Dominique. You read seven and then try to give Troy a pad. I mean, at the end of the day, Troy was on this show before Dominique from my from. And what, what was he doing? He was he was dressing mannequins at Dillard's. Or I mean, he doing the same thing that he doing now. <laughs> but my but my point but my point is last. I don't feel I don't feel any type of sympathy for Dom, for Dominique because if I'm not mistaken, didn't Cameron and Troy run into it because Troy's like you know uh, what you call it, fraudulent type of friendship? But then Dominique was trying to come at Cam in his on his behalf. Because they were freaking fracked. Because they then they go to Chicago together, and Troy was talking to everybody crazy because he was drunk, and Dominique was trying to make Cam seem like he was crazy because he had an issue with it. Well, Dominique, he was more invested. But now that you, but now that you, but now that you have a, uh, now that you have an issue because he discarded your friendship. Don't nobody feel no sympathy for you because you thought that she was going to be untouchable. But when you are dealing with somebody who doesn't really honor friendships that deeply, you can get burned too. Hello. So I don't feel I don't feel no type of I don't see it at the same way as you know um seven and I and, I exactly feel, and I don't and I don't and I don't really think that is nothing is nothing that Troy could have gotten from Dominique. I don't think that that like I don't their duo didn't even really seem like a like a staple to the show. How how did it not? You I didn't really, something? I didn't really see it as that. I just saw Troy doing what he's doing, and I, in my opinion, I saw Dominique running behind him. That's how I is that what you got out of that? That's what yeah, I got. I didn't get that out of that. I because I okay, always we clearly have di- everybody. Beauty must be in the eye of the beholder, bitch. Because I didn't, I didn't. See that. <laughs> I mean, I, I saw like I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw Dominique fighting on Troy's behalf, but I never saw Troy really fighting on Dominique's behalf. Exactly my point. So the same thing you just said about Willa and Seven applies here. But I'm saying that that's been that way from the beginning. So what's the difference now? Well, that's what she said. What Dominique said in the beginning, like, well, bitch, I just seen when I was going through since she wasn't around. She realized it. What's the problem? But I'm but I'm saying I don't just think like that, I don't I don't think that Troy used Dominique for anything. And you think Seven used Willow when she was already yeah. turning cartwheels in a drag show? I mean Willow yeah. wasn't now. Willow wasn't I, mean, I, I know a lot, I know a lot of broke ass Y'all drag queens. Me. I'm just saying it's I feel like the same argument you made earlier applies here. That's I don't, funny. but I, but I, but I guess I can see your point, but I don't, I don't look at it the same. Mm. You just don't like seven, period. Just say it. I mean, a uh, fake bitch is not something that I partake of, so I don't really fuck with seven. So okay, Tramel T, y'all, any thoughts? No, no. <laughs> You're not a one child. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope the main street practice he meets with Savion Garcon, who he was on a team with on HBO Max's Legendary. He talks about quitting ballroom because of the politics and, you know, just the different things that he wants to do in life. And Tonka, um, you know, understands his plight because he understands that ballroom takes a lot. Uh, Jay and Oliver Cassidine come with him. They start, you know, getting it into the practice of how to do the different walks and things of that nature. And I don't think anybody up here is really familiar with the ballroom culture. I am. Okay. <laughs> so... Yeah, uh, Carl used to walk the house of Revlon. I did. I worked to walk a bum on. I was in that bum. Oh, yeah, I thought I, I knew it was one of them ons, you know? yeah. So, uh, <laughs> ball, uh, one thing about Tonka and his comment about ballroom, he is absolutely right. Ballroom is completely different. I know a lot of people watch, um, you know, what's that ballroom show they play? Legendary, <laughs> not legendary, the other one. Um, uh, uh, pose, pose. pose. Oh, and, okay. 
they it posed it a very good re rendition of like ballroom back in the 80s because that's literally what it was. It was more family oriented. It was fairer. As we've gotten older, it's been more about the glitz and the glams. Who's more popular? Um, it's just been a popularity contest. It's been a shit show. Most time you have prizes of twenty, ten thousand dollars is given away, but you never get to it because bitches start tearing the ball up after you've waited four hours to get. It's just a lot to go into it, and it's just like it's it's very easy to get a very bad taste in your mouth about ballroom because it's nowhere near how it used to be, and it's just like it's a whole bunch of politics now. And I definitely felt that when he was saying that. It's just ballroom is just girl. It's it's different. Very different. So, in that regard, then we move forward to uh, Rico Casadai giving his most dramatic uh, rendition of saying that Kendra has chosen to no longer be a part of. The so group. dramatic. So dramatic. <laughs> and I know you up in here, Rico, when I let you down, friend, but you yeah, go do good. His, he was giving you his. You go go pop. That's the Angela Bassett. Yes, you was gonna go far, friend. Cause you thought, I know what you she was thought that say. Kendra was dead, child. Right. I said, "What the?" <laughs> he was like, "From what I was told, Kendra's not gonna be with us anymore." I thought she was in a hospital or something. Right. Is she all right? <laughs> <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> Oh, he was so damn dramatic. He deserved a damn Emmy because that uh -huh. shit was so damn dramatic. Every I was just like, Emmy. I was like, is she dead? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? He did, but it seemed like she had passed on to Gloria. I was cackling. I was, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, he's not gonna. She's no longer gonna be with us anymore. I think it was, just, think it was the choice of words. I think she's chosen to no longer come around the group because usually when somebody says they're not with us no more, they don't pass on to be. With That's you. what I thought. So I understood right. why people thought she was dead. <laughs> why is that tickling, y'all? <laughs> it was, it was so I have a question. Like, it's, it was Whose the, idea was for was it for him to deliver the mess? Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know my girl love a good live and a good moment, bitch. It, it was a combination of the delivery of the message and then Dario going on top of that with the music and the, and the edit just, just made it even more. <laughs> <laughs> China, they say it was giving Quad with. Oh, I'm yeah, because you know Quad loves to give a speech now. I don't want to hear this mess. <laughs> try. It's not about the show. Okay. Uh, but, but yes, mental health is very good. <laughs> it's a number for anybody that needs to talk to somebody. And so now we kind of have a better idea for people that were kind of wondering why Kendra wasn't a part of the opening, why Kendra wasn't involved in the, like a lot of mm -hmm. the problems. And it's like, well, she, as y'all can see from the first, you know, couple of episodes was dealing with a lot. And she chose to gracefully, like, I need to take some time, take a step back, do what I need to do. <laughs> and I mean, about me, but we did a lot of talk about Kendra today, and that just proved that she is growing. So, shouts out to Kendra for that. I a lot of people wouldn't have enough. Opinion, I mean, like, I'm happy that you know she took that time, but I was like, I would have just showcased the whole thing. I mean, this it's, this is the last season. I mean, you ain't coming back. I mean, like, you might as well. You might if you're gonna crash out. I don't think she run. knew that at the time. I was like, might as well go. I might as well go out in a blaze of glory. You know? Mark my words. Chase might not come back, but a Kendra spinoff may be coming soon. So she, mm, y'all ain't seen the last of her. Yeah, <laughs> guarantee it. A spinoff coming. Y'all can get that bitch one way or the other. Mm -hmm. okay. I love that. I, I would love to see Kendra's day to day life. That would be I would. I would. I would love a Kendra spinoff. Yes, all I can all I can imagine her standoff is like a whole bunch of ratchet ass good music, Newports, alcohol, and a stiff <laughs> wig. I, like all of that together. Yes, I'll be there for that. I, I want to see. Mm -hmm. So the next scene, we get Rico Castadine talking with Wayne the Paint in the park. We learn a little bit more about Wayne's background in regards to his children and his mother being sick and. His relationship with Kendra kind of being up in the air. And Rico asks if Wayne is willing to meet up with Dominique to sort out their issues. What do we think about this scene? What we doing? Rico, Rico and uh, Wayne the Pain in the park. <laughs> you know, I, I wasn't going to say this, but I, th I think that that was just um, 
It was it was it was very nice, but I'm like I'm not really understanding this whole open relationship situation and him meeting up with Wayne because they was flirting in the last season and whatnot. And you know, I don't know if y'all caught it, but in the last episode, Wayne grabbed his booty. I'm like, his man is there. I don't he know. caught it. I just. <laughs> I don't know how comfortable I would be with my man going to meet another bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Congratulations. <laughs> my Lord. Anybody, anybody else has any thoughts about this scene? I ain't got none about that one. Yeah. I ain't got none about that either. I mean, the track shoot was cute. Shimmery, but cute. It was perfect. I don't really <laughs> like that fellow on you either. Maybe I don't I really like it better than another cup. I didn't really understand. Um, I guess I was confused because, like, Wayne in this scene was saying that he didn't want any problems and he wanted to, like, dead or bury the hatchet with Dominique. I almost, like, now, I didn't, I didn't like Dominique on his first season. I did not. I really, I really did not. I did not, I did not like Dominique. But for some reason, I'm, I'm not really seeing the errors in any of the, fa or faults that Dominique is really doing. I don't know if like they're just all like deciding to attack him this season, but it was, it was just very weird to me. Cause I was like, you're saying, very weird. you're saying these things, but I don't even know what the problem, like what problem did you and him have? Like, was the was what you was what was the issue at the at the reunion last season? Like was that is it that big? It wasn't because they said in the beginning they haven't seen each other in months. So a lot of the stuff if y'all follow them, it's been a lot of things going on online. Now, from what I have been watching, because y'all know I'm nosy as fuck and I got all the tea on everybody's shit. The only people who's been yeah, you do. has been Wayne and Kendra. So the fact that you got your ass off that table talking about smoking your cigarette, talking about to hit him. And you the one that's been starting the shit. So when he, I remember what she talked about when he commented on her story. It was after her and Wayne had been going at his ass online for a good couple of weeks to a month at the time. So he finally said something. Now all of a sudden you heartbroken, girl. You can save it, and Wayne asked to save it too. Bitch, y'all started with his ass, and he responded. You can't tell a bitch how to respond. So he responded to this bullshit y'all was doing. And he got Wayne just put a whole thing about a scene from last season on his page with a whole dissertation about Dominique and Dominique had said nothing. So now all of a sudden right. Dominique's the problem. Like just say y'all need camera time and y'all need something to do. Because at this point it's just like y'all fucking with him. Can I ask well, a question? Said that they was acting slow. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They I don't think they acted at this point. When they be saying like, you know, this it was on the blogs, I was like, what blogs? Like what? What blogs is this stuff on? Because I it's, it's not the shade room or the neighborhood talk. I was like, mm -mm. What, they what? talking about the LGBT uh, web reality. They did, but it wasn't even on that many of those though. Nobody really like I'm saying because I don't story. I don't recall seeing nothing. So I'm saying like it didn't it didn't really make sense to me. Sometimes you have to make yourself seem more important than you are when the cameras are rolling. But I am loving seeing more Wayne this season. He is very entertaining, and I do like. He is, he didn't he didn't deserve a peach this season. He did. He definitely he did, did not. Yeah, he did. No, I he know didn't. he. I know yeah. he hit your friend, but I'm just saying that <laughs> he, he didn't. Was, he, he's been. He didn't deserve a peach this season. He just didn't. He did. He's like he gave me like a, a Kendra clone clown. Let me ask you, Sonja, why you like to bring up people's friends? Like you friends with these people? Why you have to always do that? Because we are the panel. Because it's, 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 it's coming across. Because it's coming across a little bias. No, it's not. A lot of the times, because you do that to me on another show, and we're not gonna go there. Uh oh. What show have we? Been, what other show have we been on together? No, I'm talking Ooh. about another show that's on TV with that I have a friend of on that show. When you be dragging her, and when I tell you, well, that's not that's not necessarily what happened. Well, because you friends with her, blah 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 blah, and ain't got to do with me being friends with a person. If I if I know more than what the fuck you know, then I just know more than what the fuck you know. It ain't got nothing to do with me being friends with them. Period. I mean, you know, I mean, when, when so you keep on that. saying, you I keep mean, on throwing up friend, the friend name. You keep on when you're friends with somebody and you're getting tea from them, it's kind of automatically. Way bias anyway because the only person on that cast that I'm friends with not all actually the time. Dominique. A lot of times, but I'm not. Well, I'm not never all the that. time. But like I don't even recall like us me even like necessarily saying that you were biased against. I say that you that you like her because you always coming into the comment section talking about. I know you about to talk about what you call. Yeah, it. because that's my friend in real life, and I okay. Know but when I say know. that on the camera, that's the issue. 
But what I'm trying, what I'm trying to say to you is that friends are gonna do with it. Sometimes the things that you said are already biased on your part. You're not listening to the story. You already know my I forgot. You're already saying what you're gonna say. We're talking to Jeremy, who misses the point on purpose. That's that's why. So, and that's what I'm trying to say because that's what I'm saying. He's missing the point because he has his own biased opinions on these bitches already. All of and now now as we friends with him, my friendship ain't gonna do with it. I'm gonna call it like I see it every time. Exactly. All of shit that I don't like, I'm calling it. Wayne, Jay, it don't matter. And the thing that you are saying is just because you just don't like the bitch and we're not gonna go with it. <laughs> all I'm doing, all I'm doing is just going based on what I'm saying on the show. Is That's that it. what you're going off of? Because you just talked about seven shoulders for 20 minutes. And the shoulders <laughs> I mean, one are those are, are her shoulders not on the show? One time. <laughs> A lot of people, uh, and they was not just trying. Uh, all, all I'm saying is, don't try to don't try to dismiss certain opinions because you and say what well, you only saying that because that's your friend. No, Fuck that bitch. She on vacation say. and she's feeling her cooch right now. I'm not on vacation. I'm on a work trip. She working. Oh, she work. Oh, a fancy little bitch. I've been. <laughs> <laughs> But like, well, but, but what I'm saying is like the whole comment section. Okay, we are saying that Wayne is tripping, but everybody is saying that you know Wayne is definitely de is earning his peace this season. But just coincidentally, on I'm not saying everybody on this panel is saying it, but the people who cool with Neek are saying Wayne ain't earning his peace this season. I mean, but the he comment ain't. section, Wayne the is comment section, like the comment section of the show is saying differently. He did the whole thing. Kendra did the storm shit a season or two ago. And now he doing the transformation. Girl, no, hell no. If you're going to be re recycling the same shit that happened a season ago, girl, sit your slow ass down somewhere. We won't see them down recycle shit again. All no, shit is recycled. No. All shit is recycled, though. It is. That same scene where he trying to, you done activated Wayne the Pat. Girl, we saw that two seasons ago. We'll be that again. <laughs> No, but I'm not gonna lie. So if you gonna come in recycling shit? Just say your recycled ass to the sideline, like I'm you did not, I'm for the past two lie. goddamn was, seasons, girl. It was entertaining. It was inter. Wait. It was not inter. It was entertaining in 2021. It's 2023. We'll see it again. Quick it's question. Quick we won't question. see that no more. Like, like Scotty, thank you is this, is, for Scotty, your services, but we won't see that no more. Scotty, is this live? Because in the yes, um, it's in, live. Because yes, in, the, right. in the top left corner, I'm seeing scary. Wayne is giving cornballs, tomatoes, tomatoes. She corny. I'm, it's car. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying scheduled. It's no, live. it's live. Oh damn, I don't know what's going on then. But like I said, like I thought, I thought Wayne was entertaining, and after he got his ass whooped, then he ran like that. <laughs> well, uh, we ain't got that yet. We ain't got that yet. <laughs> the girl, you skipping? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh lord. Okay, so we done got past the recap. So let's move forward. Lord have mercy. Because uh, I, I already know where this is about to go, and I just can't go worry about it. So we were going in the studio. Oh, Lord. And they invite Tonka, Tony, and Seven. They talk about the music. They kind of learn a little bit more about each other. We get more information about Tony being on the shy and P Valley. Tonka talks about their legendary status. They talk about pronouns. And then Berlin gets up. It's a phone call. It's from the sugar daddy. She discussed how they have this rocky relationship right now. She feels like he's, being, he's uh, cutting her off. And Seven kind of feels like, I'm confused why you shared all this information about your sugar daddy the first time that we met. Mm. So, what, 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 what It was random as fuck. And it was so, it was so out of place. One thing I will say, I am a glad to see Berlin stepping more into the limelight because I feel like Jatwan overshadows her a, a lot on the show. Mm. And I'm glad to see her doing something and getting us a little bit more into Berlin. So I am appreciative of that. But it was just so random because it's like, girl, you got to go to the bathroom and then you talk to Sugar Daddy. It's like, girl, what the fuck? What is happening? Because I was thoroughly <laughs> lost. I'm like, well, how did we get here? Like, girl, nobody asked you for this information, but thank you for telling us. We, I am a little nosy. So I still want to know, but it was just so random. Like, it girl, was random. It, no it one was. asked you this, but okay. Thank, just let I us know. Gonna, I ain't going <laughs> to lie. It was random. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, where did this come from? But I'm glad to see her stepping outside of Jay Tuan's channel. I do, I'm glad to see that. They, uh, they definitely were not expecting that because I know that like Seven, Tonka, and Tony, when she had got up, it seemed strange only because we thought that that wasn't something that they were going to do like in front of the camera, but they wanted to do it in front of the camera. So they they didn't know that was happening. 
they they were just thrown off as as y'all were, I guess, watching it. So it was it was like so that was a dose of reality. Nobody knew. Nobody, nobody knew that was coming. Period. Who is driving by cars? Oh, I think my is somebody on the highway. My, my computer's fan just turned on. Hold on. Yeah, that's oh, the thing. I'm like, who's on the highway? Wait a minute, because Dre Simmons know he's tripping me out of in here. I'm sorry, Berlin looked like she will Hulk smash a bit. I wish somebody would activate the New York in her. LOL. I love her, but I don't Listen. know it's in her. I'm waiting for somebody to do with chat. That sugar baby should never chase. Sugar babies never chase the sugar daddy. Now, mother of one is on to something now, because I was going to say it, but she, <laughs> said, she said it. <laughs> she said it. Just saying. It All that just, sex, I'm gonna side her right, right is right. And she's right. It what are just, you doing? It was awkward though, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was like, I was like, okay, so she has to go to the bathroom and then she just comes in talking about like this sugar daddy. I was like, I don't know how proud I would be to like, you know, I mean, being a sugar baby is one thing, but like, I don't think we like gloat about fucking them though. It's, it's more, we, we gloat about getting the money, but not really the dick about it. You know, like I thought, I was like, it, like, ain't, ain't you happy that he can't have sex with you? Like, you can just like, <laughs> I like, I like, money. like rub his scalp, like, gummy and get, like get, get a couple dollars or something. <laughs> I would have thought it done. Sugar baby, but that's the wig you chose to buy. Oh my God, here how <laughs> She arguing with him on the phone. He's supposed to be sending coins. And oh. he definitely not going to send no coins after he Look, sees this. Scotty gang got it, y'all. Y'all, y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all own it tonight. All my <laughs> sentiments exactly, bitch. Everything I said. I'm looking at like, girl, what is happening here? But I'm out of it. And what was the shade between, like, you know, first Berlin was up to, like, I invited all of the, all of these girls, you know, and only two people that came was, like, she said, Drew. And who was the other one that was there? Tonka, Tony. Tonka, okay, I was Tony. like, I was like, well, Drew's always going to be there because the camera's there. She ain't gonna miss no camera time. But girl, you get look, I don't even like seven like that, but you're not about to just do this girl like this. Seven is going to drag seven okay. all season. I'm letting y'all know that. But you're like not about to drag this girl all season. I, uh, <laughs> I seven do should irritate me too, but I like that bitch. Okay. I like okay, that. that's nice. But like I was saying, <laughs> that, <laughs> I but but what I was saying was like I didn't like it seemed that they were like throwing shade at each other like I guess she was like trying to give her some critiques about the music and then you know she was like well I, if I had critiques about you know you know cart that's what Jaquan like, said I they think you want a shady bitch. bitch she was like if I had you know if I had if I had this and I had that then you know I would have something to say too but I was like but can you can you cartwheel can you do a death drop like what's the like. Now, it's, bitch, how we get into this? We're not about to read seven again. I'm not saying we read it seven. I'm, it's not even about what seven said. <laughs> to me, it was about them critique. Like, I was like, what's the critiques that's about seven's performance? I wanted to know more about what that was about. Now, she gets on my nerves on a lot of things, but one thing, her drag show was top tier. That's what I thought. You know, I don't I don't like her on her shoulders, but I do think that she's a hell of a drag queen. Oh, my queen. God. Bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Like I think that she's a really good performer. I like I've seen videos of, of her performance. She's really good. So I was like, I guess I was a little bit. I was like, what's the, what's the critiques that you have? Like what like what is the room for improvement that she needs? What what do you feel? But like I guess we weren't gonna get that. But Jay Twan, but you know Jay Twan be ready to, to come for a bitch if they show sure is. They, <laughs> that bitch goes to the library. She studies her reads early. Okay? I, I swear, okay. Her day. She always gonna be ready. She be locked and loaded. Yeah, it's it was giving Shamari husband and candy. Uh -huh. Y'all get off. dressed up her ass off of here. <laughs> <laughs> Tramel T, anything about this scene? No, nah, not really. Let me tell y'all something. Dr Tramel and T is probably the most ruthless mouth bitches. Oh, while they sitting here not saying nothing, y'all got something to say in this bitch, and don't have me and Jeremy be the bad guy all <laughs> panel. Does you smart mouth bitches? <laughs> Y'all not gonna play silent mouth on this set and it look like we the problem. Um say what so I saying. guess what I will say is um I just saw the scene. I think I blinked when the whole weird part happened that y'all talking about with Berlin. I missed it. I'm sorry. I I just remember um them talking about legendary statuses and uh of course they were doing their song. I I like the song, the song is dope. 
but that's about it. And then he read Seven a little bit because she was talking about Berlin's cadence and music. And I was just like, he was like, girl, I've never seen you do no music. So how are you having an opinion? So I mean, I listen, that's where that came from. Like, girl, I've never seen you do no your drag shows. And I, if I did drag, I would probably have critiques, but I don't. So when you get accredited for music, then you can talk to us. Ooh. I mean, that's you know, I mean, for me, I mean, the scene was cute, but I mean, I I, I heard it all. I heard what all of them did. Um, I know what I know who everybody is, and y'all <laughs> right. I, I'm not gonna say nothing because I am that bitch, and I get to run in my mouth up here in these Please holes and in my comments before and my DMs before. I ain't got time. Uh -huh. I ain't gonna go you through all that. Say, no, ma'am. All I'm gonna say is I did go like the song. It. The song was cute. But I mean, the scene, it, 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 it was all right. I, I mean, <laughs> no, the, the, the scene was all right. Y'all gonna Je leave me and Jeremy out here to dry. See, Jeremy is here today, so Jeremy, the, Jeremy picking up the. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be the, I'll be the villain in you bitches' stories. I don't care, <laughs> ah! baby. Them hey, hoes don't care either. That's I'm what I'm trying to find. Why they, they calculate? They only been quiet because they know if they say something, then they will not. Me and you would be the we the the, uh, the heroes of the story. Them all start talking, then we ain't got nothing to worry about. So y'all didn't like the song because the people in the chat said the song was a whack as hell. No, I like they, the they won't fit in the song. Well, the people like, in the I'm chat. Not said I'm not gonna lie. I completely toned ton, like toned that song out. Like I really wasn't listening to it. I was just really confused at the outfit. That was what, what my confusion was, but once again, like I guess you say that's a part of that, like they like they um, you say they like their um, their brand, yeah, okay, so yeah, I didn't really, I mean, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't dislike or like the song, so I mean, I'll have to go back and listen to it again, but it wasn't so bad to where like I'm just saying, like, dang, this is this sounds like trash. So I guess it wasn't bad, but I I'll probably need to go back and listen. But what were you gonna say, Tramel? Turn your turn your phone. No. Yeah, bitch. I can't because I'm gonna be I'm gonna be like looking sideways. No, you're not. Yeah, it's okay. You you good? You good on bitch? You look good, bitch. Little beard. Yes, you look good, Tramel. Little nose. Y'all about to irritate me. Y'all just so. Now good. one thing I have to say about that scene is so that handsome one playing that beard. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one thing I have to say about that thing is that, unlike Jatuan, I like the opinions of people that don't do music. Most of your number one consumers of, of our music is people who don't do music. So, of a bitch that don't do music, I absolutely want to hear your opinion. When my album drops, I'm definitely coming over here to Scotty Gang and let them know, hey, what y'all think about it? I, I like all comments. Because I like to know. I like to know. Oh, I can probably approve there. Okay, that's cute. I like the comment. Okay, okay, period. Because you do music, that's right. But that's a very small group of people to do music and be like, this is a banger. Because I know a lot of people that do music that they will all hear the same song and be like, that's fire. And I'd be like, bitch, it sounds lackluster to me and I don't like it. And if you send it to the masses, they'd be saying the same thing. It's lackluster, I don't like it. So it's just like, if they feel like your music, you know, Drew Friday feel like it was lackluster, take that, take in consideration. You're not that great that you can't take constructive criticism from anybody. At the end of the day, y'all make great music. I love We Were Born, but y'all ain't popped yet. So with the same belt, y'all on the same boat as the rest of us. Take the criticism wherever you was. I don't think she meant nothing malicious when she gave y'all a critique. Just listen to what she got to say. That's all I got to say. I'm saying, then why did you even invite them to come and listen to the if music? If you weren't going to let them know. Yeah. Well, they didn't say it in the scene, I don't think. He just said it in his confessional, so maybe he just... Oh, that bitch is gonna say it to their face. Just give it, a, give it a couple more looks, bitch. She gonna say it. <laughs> she definitely gonna say it because I know her. Yeah. So yeah. the next scene is uh, Rico on the set of the Deception. She invited <laughs> Dominique to Ow, not Deception a, to fill a role of the talent agent. They filmed their scene, and he sits down and wants Dominique to. He says that he talked to Wayne. And he's asking Dominique to also meet with Wayne to sort out their issues. Uh, and Dominique's kind of, you know, hesitant, like, um, I don't really think that's a good idea. So what do we think about this scene? I like saying Rico be the peacemaker and moving these girls around and moving the girls in the right direction. I love it. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. 
Yeah. Rico, bitch, why is you talking about me, bitch, in the comments? Both of these whores are in the comments. Hey, ho. <laughs> okay, let me talk about my girl so she here so she can hear what I'm saying now. I was the shout out to my girl for doing deception and doing it, but bitch, the drama is about to unfold with that later. <laughs> but anyway, girl, shout out to you. My, my favorite bitch favorite. put on a whole production. She she picked the casting, <laughs> but she did the, the concept, the storyline, all that good shit. Bitch, give her flowers. I like the new fact that she's trying to be peacemaker. Rico's an example of, bitch, I watch myself, and there's things about myself that I don't like, so next season, bitch, I'm gonna go in with a whole different light, bitch, so. I ain't got nothing to say about my girl, she been doing her damn shit. Why she telling me to keep you cute in a bitch? Bitch, if I want to read you, bitch, just wait till we get to the scene. I will get Ooh. you. <laughs> bitch. Just right now, I'm getting flowers, because it was flower-ish. But, bitch, uh, you do something crazy, bitch, and you know what's coming. And, um, the invites are, um, Already out there. If there's anybody that need to clear anything up, you are welcome to come to the panel. Thank you. Oh, yes, come, please on come on up here. Come on up. Seven need to bring her ass up here. Well, that um, was uh, that was early when um, Jeremy is reading you, so we can hear y'all go back and forth. Cause yeah. I got popcorn. I'm here to let you know if you come up here trying to act cute, bitch, you will get read down. Like, let's not do that. Let's look when you come up here. You yeah. can say whatever you want to say, but I'm not here to argue with you. I ain't on the show. This panel is not supposed to be that panel. Exactly. I said what I said. Exactly. I ain't changing it. We, we will facilitate that kind of energy up here. Right. <laughs> um, but that was Deke's very first time acting. I think he did a really, really good job. Because uh, I think Carl and I and Travell all know what it's like to get in front of them cameras. It ain't Laura, Rico want the link already. You know that bitch love a laugh. You know she go, you don't give her, don't throw a hell of a good time. <laughs> give us a few minutes, Rico. I'm going to send it to you. Hold on, we are almost there. We, we are you almost... know if it's a red light on, bitch, my bitch gonna be there. <laughs> 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 that scene, we are at the last scene of the episode. Damn, you went through that quick. What time is it? Bitch, we've been up here for over an hour and a half. Oh, hell no. I'm and first wide. of I all, all before, before you even get there, shout out to the, there's over 200 people in the chat. This is the most we have ever had since we started this panel. So thank That's you guys. That's because Jeremy punk ass on here just reading everybody. <laughs> Why are you saying that? Like, I am not, I'm just, I'm just. Well, I play with my invisible weed. You are fucking angry, bitch. I am not angry. I am very, I'm, I'm very okay. You've been fucking these bitches up for what reason? What did they do to you, bitch? What? I don't, I really only really got into Drew. Drew, you, know. you have allegedly all oh, panel. Go don't ahead, Jamal. So, <laughs> Dominique and Wayne meet up. <laughs> and Dominique arrives first. I can't tell. And he's like, you know, I invited him out. He's late. I'm really going to take time out of my busy schedule to meet with this girl. And I don't really want to be here, but I'm here. Mm. And then Wayne comes in and says, hey, you know, can I have a hook? And I'm just like, mm-mm. And so yeah. uh -huh. Wayne starts to pull out these gifts that he has brought for Dominique. He pulls out a composition notebook. He pulls out a toy control <laughs> car. And he pulls out a Summer's E. <laughs> um, that ain't funny. Then Neek responds and pulls up the screenshot, trying to ask, like, you know, what's going on with this. D Dwayne says that he used to uh, that he followed Ed because Ed has a best friend named Wayne. He used to date Wayne, so that's that. And you know, they start to get into it. One one thing led to another, and then it went do 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 do. -do. So, what do we think about this scene? First Nick, of all, <laughs> first of all. Let me just I, let me just say this first. Damn, Dominique ate. Yes, whoop that ass. Yes, bitch. he did. I yes, yes, what yes, yes, he did. Say. And I like both of them. I've met both of them in person. I know more so. I know Dominique more so than Wayne. But at the same time, it ain't got nothing to do with me. No, Dominique, Dominique lost out of the it, bitch. She got she whooped that ass. Bitch. Dominique like ate it up. Like okay. Wayne, how the hell you let Dom Dominique small as hell? And how the hell you let him overpower you like that? He got I said come to no shit because I like listen, I ain't want y'all fighting. Cause I like both of y'all. I, I ain't want y'all fighting at all. I I don't condone no violence. But God damn, Wayne, right? And then you ran off like a little bitch. I said, yeah, what? The... Run? So don't worry about it. She run. What you want to get a gun or something? Right. right. That's what I was ass, thinking. Bitch. I said, where you going, friend? Where you going? Like. So I have a question. 
for Jeremy and Carl. <laughs> Here we go. This bitch done sat up there and DM'd your man, then he brought you a summer's eve saying, now you single now, huh? And you wouldn't have beat her ass? That's dip. You already yeah. didn't like her. I still yeah. feel like Dominique shouldn't been mad about that. Like, <laughs> now, like, I don't, I don't, now, I, I'm not justifying anything. I'm not justifying anything that Wayne did, nor did I say it was right. But I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't feel it. it to me, I feel like it was counterproductive for Dominique. Anthony wasn't to, the reason. I feel like it was counterproductive for Dominique to give Wayne the reaction that he wanted. Because that that's the react He wanted he to hit him. Huh? I'm talking about the whole, like the whole bringing up the the screenshot period. He wanted he wanted Dominique to find out and have an issue with it. That's why he came there with that. And energy. that's why you need to get your ass whooped because you was playing with me, right? So like no, but the point but I, of the story that you wanted to whoop her ass anyway. Her talking to your man had nothing to do with it. You wanted to whoop but, her ass anyway. Just whoop but, her ass. And he did that. But like in my opinion, um, I thought that Dominique handled himself very, very well. Like I'm, I'm really refreshed with Dominique. You know, he did say, you know, after you know that live had ended when we did, when we, uh, I guess, did like the interview with him. He did say that this season he'll be way more toned down, and I really can see that. Like he really, like he didn't come off immediately trying to come at Wayne, and he really he was. Wayne started it, so yeah. He, I honestly feel like Dominique wouldn't have said anything if Wayne didn't coming in with this fucking. Dollar Tree fucking mm -hmm. uh, yes man. <laughs> if he Girl, hadn't done that, the summer they could have really just talked. I really feel like yeah. Dominic would have said because the Dominic mm -hmm. that I know would have sat down with his ass and said, "Bitches, it is what it is." But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, when you came up there being funny with your little Summer's Eve and shit and all this mm -hmm. other bullshit. Mm -hmm. Girl, I will whoop yo. I'm yeah. surprised I need to hit her ass first. Because as soon as she put out that police tour car, I'd have shoved that bitch up her ass. Because, bitch, who you playing with, bitch? Right. Don't yeah. play with me on no camera. Eve, that Summer's Eve said it all. Yeah. That like, Summer's Eve would have been enough because I don't even use those because they pull on your cheeks when you pull it out. So now you playing with me, bitch. Yeah, like that, that was the that was the ultimate disrespect there when he pulled out that Summer's Eve. I was like, now you know men can't even use that shit. You you know we can't you even can't because it's gonna scratch up the inside. It's exactly. gonna yank the it's gonna yank the booty meat and pull. I yeah. know I used to use them back in the day. You what? did? I I learned the hard way, child. Oh my god! But like, have y'all have y'all y'all know have y'all know how those roaches run when you spray the raid? That's how brain ran away. Yeah. Yeah. It, it was giving it was giving like somebody had put like pulled out the raid and was spraying the shit out of. <laughs> <laughs> he, ran, and he ran underneath the refrigerator. Y'all right. know what I'm talking about. That's that's exactly what it was given. I, like, like, why did he run? Was he, he threw running? a wet noodle punch? That first punch was real wet and limp. It was yeah. like it was because he was drunk. I think he was drunk when he showed I up. I tried to be nice to your motherfucking ass, <laughs> and then you hear them. <laughs> Shut up, Tremel. You know that's how you were talking. So, I tried to be nice to your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Like you was not trying to be nice. You came at here with all. the bull and shit. You came. Yeah, here you with set the, the tone for what happened, Wayne. I that like shit was on you. And this shit the professional stopping talking top tier shit like she was gonna whoop some ass. Girl, sit your slow ass you said down. The Kendra, you said the Kendra spirit got down deep up in him, honey, and then he got right. beat up. You like you can't be Kendra and then get your ass whooped. I think Kendra gonna fuck some shit up, but you not. Somebody no, I don't think I, I ain't trying I to think, be. I don't think Kendra really fight like that. But I, somebody, oh, Kendra I, I, will I, throw I, a chair at your ass. You saw oh, that? She sure will. I've seen Kendra in action, and bitch, I would be. I would get away with in the, in the ring with Wayne and Kendra because bitch, Kendra gonna fuck some shit up. I mean, I mean, fuck some, I mean like fuck some shit up, like you know, up some stuff. Um, is Wayne trying to be iconic, but it was a fun. <laughs> But I'm not gonna lie, it, I was entertained. Like I was like, this shit is is comedy. Thank right? you for the super chat, Jay Wash. And I was thinking the same thing when he ran. You better run for it. Run, run for it. Right. Run. <laughs> right. It was like it was like Dominique beat him out of the scene. He I'm did. Screaming. Dre Samba, why? He said Kendra should have went to the crazy house sooner if we knew Wayne was gonna deliver entertainment. <laughs> Listen, come on, Dre. Now I agree with that bitch. <laughs> now, when I said that earlier, you said he didn't even earn his peak. <laughs> Just, I ain't say that. I'm, so talking, about, I'm talking about Carl. What I say? You that you ain't like, he ain't earned his peak. Like he was highly entertaining this episode. This he I is not Wayne entertaining, was, sweetie. He's I not. Think Wayne was entertaining. Yes, he is. He entertaining because y'all like to make fun of how slow she is. She need help. <laughs> <laughs> Take her peach and get her off of this show. Help her. He ain't, uh, he ain't slow. He just country. Oh, my God. I 
child, I was in the country, child, no ma'am. You from slow. Detroit. That's a country. That is not that it's is not country. Country. You ain't have you been there? Look, I've been there a few times. That that, that, that oh that, how how my, that, shut up. It's country <laughs> in the city, child. <laughs> and we are bad. Wayne is not country. She's slow. It's a we We're not finna make this live about my sex life. We just not finna do that today. But you said it. Right. Well, you I just said I've been there a few times. That's all I like, said. You, like, Why you did you go? Like, you like he be creaking the door open for you to go through. No, I don't. All I said in. was that I've been there. A few Why times. did you go, honey? Oh, yeah. One thing Scotty gonna go? do is creak them drawers off, bitch. Do. She gonna she gonna slip <laughs> the panties to the side. Back bitch. to the show. Back to the show. Back <laughs> so, to the motherfucking I want, show. I want. I want to share. I'm gonna share this this tidbit about this scene. So short is actually a great thing that Wayne left when he did, <laughs> because wow. short, shortly after you know that whole debacle had happened, somebody had called the Pope home, and a butch lesbian came up there looking at me because somebody had because I was wearing um like my yellow like wool jacket, and she came up to me and was like you know oh you got a report that somebody was over here fighting. And they said all they saw was somebody in yellow, so they thought it was me. Uh -huh. And I had to, I had to butch it up real cute, and you know, put on the homosexual because she was a butch lesbian. I said, "Girl, uh -uh, I ain't no threat, girl. Uh -uh, we all fine." <laughs> because they uh -huh. take out of the jail. <laughs> they was, they was going duking it out over here where I'm the white folks. And so you know, them folks don't play that. <laughs> Not that no, they gotta yeah, go to was in Cobb County. You gotta go, to, you gotta go to Clayton with so, that. The fact that I mean, I know people yeah. don't like way, but it's like the fact that he left was. Smart. It worked in his favor. So, Thank for God. future references, if y'all if y'all trying to get Wayne up out the scene, call nine one one. That's all you got to do. He gonna run, bitch. Right. Gonna run. He said, talk about a pull in my hair. Uh -uh. That ain't what you talk about. Talk about a pull in my hair. Nah, we ain't worried about it. We talk about them thunder fists that you I had. Mean, I mean, at the end of the day, up. you beat them up. So, like, the hey, hair pull didn't even really matter. Is this the time to drop You were pulling hair. You were throwing hands, honey. The fact yeah. that she pulled your hair and she didn't get the one yeah, up, that was even sad. <laughs> Well, we have Rico and Dominique in the chat. So, it, so I know I know Rico asked for the link, but um, if Dominique wants to come up, he can too. And somebody else also asked for the link too. I hope that. Who are people? Well, I know the, the Rico and Dominique, but who else asked? Aaron asked for the link too, child. Aaron asked that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if I should bring him up here with Rico. Yeah, because that bitch be trying it. Bring oh, we oh, let's get to the drama. I forgot start. about that. Now let's get this chase the panel after dark, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wipe the corners of my mouth and let's really get it. Rico, oh, um, Rico, check your DMs. Yeah, Walk bitch. Seat bells, bitch. It's about to get hot. Let's make it hot. No, really, because Rico didn't have no drama with nobody this episode. I mean, not about yet. That. It's a, we only in the second episode. That I love that bitch, but girl, uh, she can't drama follows her. I don't know. I don't, I don't, something like, by Rico, four. Rico really does give me the energy. Like I don't really, I don't really think that he out here looking for pro like you follow him. Yeah. <laughs> no, clearly you know. You've been watching a lot. Bitch, my bitch get into most shit than a little bit. Maybe I missed that live. Like five. Somebody, yeah, you somebody missed it up. Pick. Somebody you gotta follow her. She is a show by herself. Okay. <laughs> Somebody's in the bag. Oh, that's Rico. That look at wow. Wow. I already started shit. What you say, Carl? Just starting shit, bitch. You started shit already. You just got here. Bitch, I can't <laughs> my life uh unraveled as girl. Bitch. And yeah, and we all are front row to it, bitch. bitch you didn't take us out the group chat. Trying to be Egala fix my life and my life fell apart. Shit. You don't give a fuck. You gonna go live every second of it. No, bitch. I'm bored. I'm live. <laughs> I can't sleep. I'm going live. Clearly. I just took a uh, uh I just took some vitamins. I going live, bitch. No, you damn right, bitch. Like bitch that's pissed. Rico going live, bitch. Ah, and guess what? Y'all gonna watch it and shut up. Bitch, maybe so. Cause you know I always end up doing something stupid that somebody gonna use for something. Girl, what about this new man that you had on your camera the other day? Let's sit you here. Don't worry about, about you man. Now you worried about you worried about stuff that ain't that ain't nothing. So you got another man already. Don't so we need to know. Hey, my personal life is now my personal life. Girl, it was on live. Anything that you put on live is is is, is free reign. It was on live. 
Yep, that's the once and for one and only time you go. Girl, you gonna tell us about this man, bitch? Thank we want to know. Okay. You done brought your ass up here. This is the panel. Okay, and we're chasing y'all tea. We gonna be talking about the episode, child. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll ask about your man in a little bit. Okay, you know. Uh, Wait, what you say, Ricardo? He, I said he ain't getting nothing out of me. He know he ain't about to get nothing out of me. Girl, I'm gonna get all this damn tea, bitch. <laughs> get, but, but, keep going. <laughs> I done already screenshot that man. I, I took a screenshot from the live. I sent it through Google search, bitch. I'm bitch, I'm, it. bitch, it's spring. Keep going. That's all right. If you don't tell me, I'll find it. The Sonny. <laughs> oh, so, Rico, what you think of the episode? It, it was hilarious. Bitch, I sat here and gagged and, and cackled the whole fucking time. Was it better than episode one? Yes. <clears throat> Rico, who won the fight? <laughs> Messy. Girl, Jamel, <laughs> just... Hey, just... <laughs> turn that camera back on. Bitch, you like Messy. <laughs> just rip it off. The only thing I'm gonna say is I hate that that happened, and I hope that these individuals can come together and work this out because that is a tragic thing when you have two wonderful individuals have to resort to putting hands on each other. It should never go that far. The pageant girl answer. Oh, That's the number five, Rico Cassidy. <laughs> and in congratulations for Miss America. I am your right. number fifteen, Rico Cassidy, and I thank you. That was Rico Cassidy for the interview portion. <laughs> girl. Okay. <laughs> I know that's right, bitch. So, Rico, is you fucking Wayne now? Oh. In response to the question, no. I have a wonderful friendship with Wayne that is a great partner of mine. I love him dearly, and I wish him well in his endeavors, and I hope he is doing well after watching this episode. So he's the friend that can grab on your booty? Ooh. I mean, ain't too many people can't grab on my booty, bitch. Yeah, we grab our booty all the time. Right. <laughs> Did you suck his dick a little bit though? What? Okay. I just want to know. <laughs> what to say got, what all right, go ahead with the questions. I just need to throw those out. <laughs> Ken Mora's across the street. Ken Mora across the street. <laughs> Ken Mora. Ken Mora. Ken Mora. <laughs> I'm hollering. This is crazy. Somebody said, so he can't say who won. Well, you see, he ain't say. Now, we all I, saw I, I, who I, I, won. <laughs> Stevie wanted to know who won. <laughs> wanted to the bullshit. Did, did Rico, Rico get some media training? I did. You best believe my girl got her PR shit on now. <laughs> I can't. Because all these answers been PR related. Listen. Answers, honey. Damn. Oh, y'all that boy. Y'all don't want to even ask nothing else. I don't miss y'all. I, I was waiting on Jamar. He thought he had some. Oh, Dominique said he coming up here. His Uber Eats almost here. I know oh. he gonna tell me who that he feel like is, bitch. Uh, here she go with the bush. Yeah. Who? Oh. I said I already know Dominique gonna get up here act the ass, but it's all right. We love an ass actor. I love. <laughs> <laughs> Wake it up, Dominique. Wake it up. Um, well, Rico, Doug, she did the oh, yeah. the past two months. Rico, so, Rico, 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 I have a question. Where Rico? Where you at? She left. Oh, she was stepped away. Oh, she yeah. It's a live. She went far. Oh, because somebody had, I think somebody had a question for him. Because the question was on the after show, Wayne said it was your fault for not showing up to the meetup. Why didn't you show up? You wasn't supposed I, had, to. I had a question like that. You wasn't supposed to. Ooh. Okay, producer. No, like when in the scene, he was like, I want to be the one on one with nobody else there. Oh, well. Well, my real question was like, what do you think of Wayne's live? What is he saying over there? Oh, it's already over. I didn't get to see. I sent um by the way, I sent and I sent him the link. So it's up to them two. You know, I'm scared to have them up here together because I don't, mm -mm. Oh, Rico I don't gonna run. Know. Well he ain't gonna run. No, she not. She loves a good argument. Oh yeah, that, that media training gonna go out the window. Nowhere. I don't want my channel to be that kind of channel, honey. <laughs> that media uh, training you, gonna go out the window. Like, you let the ghetto out here already, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it going. Well, I I'm here to bring a little like, streetness to the channel, bitch. You know? <laughs> Let's let the ghetto this roll through. Well, we got Just enough for the ghetto night. up here, honey. One night only. One night only. Dre Zimber said, uh, Dominique has been in the most fights across chasing, if you think about it, sis collecting trophies. She has been. 
She has been. Someone said Wayne was over there playing the violin his whole life. Not the not, ooh, yeah. really. Like, what was he saying? <laughs> Talking about how he was depressed or something. I'll have to catch the replay because I was I, I had it on over here, but I was seeing the comments go up, and the comments were not very kind. So what was happening? Shout out to Sharice, uh, Chris, um, Catherine, you, who else? Patches. All my moderators that's in the building taking care of all the things. Honey. Oh, when I said they've been out here working, bitch, they've been out here working. Yes, my moderators don't play profit. All y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't be playing, honey. And they've been sharing Tremel link throughout the whole show. I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. I've been seeing that y'all are so kind to me. Yeah, just so kind. So. Y'all go listen to my bitch shit. I'm listening to it. I'm gonna go to sleep on it tonight and just let it play. <laughs> While I sleep, I can dream about long days, bitch. Yeah, dream about a dream about a man, honey. <laughs> I usually do. Yo, man, you gonna fight me? <laughs> oh my goodness! I oh no, girl, so you got no with receipts, bitch. Uh -huh. So if my dough with receipts, like what's up, right, Dominique? To hurry it up, honey. Yeah, uh -huh. let's ask her why the hell she felt like she needed to whoop her ass over these proceeds. I wasn't hurry it up, honey. We almost said two hours, child. Yeah, we tired. It's 11 o'clock. <laughs> Let me yeah. see. Oh, Rich so somebody got a get question your... for you, uh, Drace, uh, Tramel. Tramel, did you bring Corday a shady goodie bag when y'all met up? Uh uh. Yeah. He was in love with me. Let's just go there. Oh. He loves me. He tried to, you know, be my man. But that just did not happen. I didn't have any shady bags for him. I wish him the best, though, wherever he is. <laughs> Shout out to Voodoo Doll TV for the $50 uh, super chat. Thank you. $50? I'm going to need a piece of that bitch. Damn, Voodoo, come over to me. My cat. Let me say my I want my 10%, bitch. Hold up. bitch. <laughs> Got to get all this money. And I'm making ramen noodles when we get off of here, bitch. I need a crab no, boy. Do, yeah, don't girl. Do that, honey. Don't you do that. Let me start with my cash app tag. Oh, bitch, what's the hey? I was gonna have y'all put y'all cash apps up here from, from now on. That's what I'm starting doing. The hell yeah, bitch. You said it's fifty dollars. Now what the fuck? I'm, a, I'm a, uh, that's what we're gonna do from 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 now on. Nah, from, I just want to cut, cut, bitch. <laughs> Because if Cash App ain't assured, these super chats is happening. <laughs> uh, YouTube, YouTube take about 30% of that. So you damn damn super chat. Send me a, everybody send me a dollar. <laughs> everybody send everybody. Jamel, <laughs> we going out tonight, bitch. I swear Girl, going out we tonight. We going out tonight. <laughs> we going out tonight. Where y'all going? No. Whatever. <laughs> they Cash App me, we going out tonight. Y'all going to Taco Mac. You know that's our spot. Taco Mac. Yeah. Hey. Bitch, we going out tonight. You know we love to go to Taco Mac. We love Taco Bitch. That's our fucking uh, our spill all session, bitch. Yes, it is, honey. <laughs> we be on the scene of love and hip hop right there. <laughs> Listen, there it is. Oh, they asking for the cash apps, honey. Y'all might need to put them in the chat. Oh, let me put. I'm gonna put mine in here. Oh, if I can remember what it is. <laughs> Let me see. Here, ho says Jamar Wayne was asking for you on the live. Why, we, why was he asking for you? Because I was watching it, but I couldn't hear it. I didn't see he was. I, I didn't uh, see either. What he said? What after you now? They were asking for you. Oh, uh, sir. I was unavailable. I Jamar, they was asking for you on the live. That's Thank the, you, Voodoo Doll. That's what the people are saying. Okay. Uh, what's this? Let me. Uh, Wayne was crying, calling for Jamar. I was hollering. What? Excuse me. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Not him crying for Jamar, child. Oh, there you go, Dominique. My bad. Now, what you got to say, Dominique? We ready for the What you mean what I got to say? I don't have much to say. What you want to ask? Before anybody says anything, bitch, where the hell were you tonight? Uh-oh. My bad. I couldn't make it. The fuck? 
<laughs> they tell me shit. I said, well, shit. What happened? Did you get kidnapped by the aliens? What's going on? No, I'm sorry. How y'all doing tonight? Did y'all enjoy the episode? Uh-huh. I we did. did. So, yeah. uh, some of the people got questions for you. Yes. I got some, bitch. Why the hell did you confront that man about your ex <laughs> and y'all even together no more? It's about respect. Period. Period. Bitch, I don't even like you, bitch. Period. <laughs> So why, okay. why would he not go sleep with your man? Whore. That's, well, that is crazy. It's <laughs> a crazy. whore. It's giving yeah, whore. Because if I would have went and slept with his man, I would have been wrong. Period. Then she, and then, I, I mean, if, they, that, if it's her man, he, y'all, you and Ed ain't together no more. My bad. Girl. Hey, me. Hey, I got a question but, for and me. Tell her to play the, I, I ain't got time for her to play in my face. I feel like girls playing in my face, and I can do. I can play in the playground. You know, I can get along with girls that I don't like and come in the same room and you know mm-hmm. go on about my day. But I feel like people are playing in my face, and that's it. Like I don't want to be seen in that light. I don't want my clients to see me twirling in the playground with the girls. Like, but it is what it is. Especially if you put your hands up. Okay, I that I get with, but I because we've had a long debate. About you being mad about somebody sleeping with your ex, I don't believe you should be mad about my sleeping with your ex. No, if he got a whole boyfriend like that, that I'm bitch. like I'm okay did. with them. Like it is what it is. Like I'm not gonna harbor feelings. And I know it's a lot of people out there that once they break up with their ex, fuck him. I never talk to him again. But it's like, girl, in my world, my life goes on. As long as he's happy, that's all that matters to me. If he's ever, if he's ever on the streets, even though he was the one who put me in my situation. If Ant was on the streets right now and he said, I ain't got no place to stay tonight, bitch, you can stay here and we not going to touch each other. Like, I want to make sure Ant is good. And I always say that. And I always do that. It is what it is. Period. We love love. That's mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think you should have slapped that bitch because she slid in her DM. She ain't say that. But, but you see, I wasn't going to touch that woman. I, I was said not gonna that. Touch Did her. I just say that? I also wasn't going to pull out my little receipt out my bag, bitch, unless she came on some bullshit. I was not going to do none of that. It's a lot of shit y'all even did. See, that bitch played in my face for about 15 minutes. Is that true, Jamar? <laughs> I got yeah. the audio in my phone. See, I tell you, you stupid bitches, <sighs> never went with this way, you stupid bitches, y'all play games. And y'all yeah, they, let us twirl. they let us twirl for that long. And it's good. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, Nobody oh, can break it up with Dario. I was saving you hoes from going into the, the jailhouse. You were saving that bitch from going to the jailhouse. I'm not going to jail. I know the sheriff, okay? Oh, Nick, you've been whooping ass for like two seasons. I don't think you give a fuck about going to jail at this point. I really don't because I'm a bail out. Clearly. The, girl, the girls got homeless and broke twisted. Bitch, I was misplaced. I don't know what words y'all wanted me to use. But girl, y'all will get more of it at the reunion because I want to dive into it at the reunion. But girl, I was never broke. But bitch in Atlanta, bitch, you know you got to drop stacks on stacks on stacks to get into an apartment in two weeks. I got, I, I had two fucking weeks. It is what it is. I didn't have nowhere to go. He went on with his new nigga. Mm, you better tell us the truth, bitch. It is what it is. But you know, I had a lot of you know, moments where I felt like I was less than because of our breakup, but once I got over that shit, it's like, I just want to see him happy. I still check on him, his mom. It is what it is. And that's what Wayne is mad about. Just like he said in his after show, he was like, I don't even see why Aunt even said something to him. If your ex on the show and y'all broke up, why you here? Bitch, you're mad. Checkmate. I said I play chess, not checkers. Bitch, you will never have expected Aunt to come on here and tell me that shit. Period. Okay. Well, I have a question for Rico. But but I gotta do this. Nah, I just want to know because these bitches over here act like they don't understand. But I think you be feeling me. Uh huh. When you say if if somebody tried to talk to your ex and you knew they got y'all got beef, ain't you about to go off in that bitch jaw? Baby, y'all know I will go off just for somebody looking at my man, bitch. Y'all know. Period. I- Okay, Rico be ready to kick down your doors and smack your chick. That's what I'm saying. You're Rico not having that. Uh, okay, Rico not having it. Yeah, I don't care bitch. nothing about that. Okay, Carl okay. said we need therapy. Y'all do. That's why I'm in therapy now. Clearly. 
Tramel, you need but to are y'all it. enjoying the season as a whole so far? It's only episode oh, two. Oh yes, we are. We did. Yeah, it's are. interesting. It's very. I can't wait the bitches get to scrapping again. Ooh. it's coming. I know. <laughs> You go to the spike, bitch. You ghetto ass me. <laughs> it's coming. It's not just neat, neat. You know, the girls like to show that, like, it's all me and I'm the villain. There's some other girls out here. I told uh, y'all, take notes. I told y'all, I see here, you got to take notes each week. There's a lot of ghetto girls in Atlanta. The girls are ghetto and urban. Okay. Period. Definitely <laughs> urban, honey. <laughs> But no, he they said they are right. They said make make note of everything that's happening. We're gonna reflect and review later on. Baby, yeah. I told you in your notebook, I want to make sure I have all facts straight when we start talking. Cause I'm gonna say, hey, baby, that ain't, that ain't what you said. Cause what you said, said was it knows. I feel like everybody gonna have their notes at the reunion, honey. Ain't nobody got time. I feel like everybody. Coming, I mean, as much as they say I come with my guard up, I feel like all of us came with our guard up from the new bitches to the old bitches. All right, because this year, this year, everybody on pin because we don't know what the fuck happened. Nobody, we were around each other, around each other, but we hung out, we hung out. So, bitch, nobody knows what's going on. And just keep in mind, just being real, I didn't have no major issues with nobody. But all in all, like, bitch, that whole break that we took from the reunion till we started filming, like, I didn't talk to nobody, like, on some real shit. Clearly. Shit, transparent. Like, I'll talk to Jamar. I'll talk to Seven. Now, but outside not of me. That, now, I did say earlier, I said in that whole time between the last season, you didn't say nothing to them bitches I was stalking y'all pages. You didn't say nothing to them no. bitches. They were coming at you, putting shit on their pages. And yeah. I they did it for months. Did you just not, like, comment that one time? I think they've been doing it for a while. Catch this tea. Catch this tea. So, and I love Kendra down. But Me too. I didn't but even fact threaten fact. her. Like, if y'all pause it, I didn't even threaten her. I said, keep my name out y'all beef suckers. That's what I had saw. I didn't say I'm finna shoot it up or I'm finna run in my car and grab something. Like, girl, I ain't do none of that. Even when we got the fight. When he had, like, he had to go get a gun. Bitch, I didn't call the police. I said, you're going to jail. Is that what she went to go get? That's what she forced gun ran for? And had folks uh, in the car. Uh, uh -huh. Yes. <clears throat> so, I don't okay. have time for her. A question. For her. Here's a question. Now you have folks in the car for you. Here's a question for you, Dominique. Someone says, so why is the Fab Five pretending to be so close? They not. We're not pretending. The I show like is for is showing that they not. <laughs> well, I'll say this. I feel like everybody is giving their true authentic story. Like it is what it is. Like I'm not sugarcoat shit. I feel like, and I love my sister down seven. This is not dragging you at all. Do not call my phone. But I do feel like <laughs> to the audience, it might look like she was kind of playing in Willa face when she Willa was being serious. It's like seven. Ask Jeremy. Seven, you just girl, just apologize to that girl and go on. Don't give the excuses, and that's where my sister kind of went wrong. I'm like, don't give her the excuses, just apologize. And these are my friends I'm talking about, and she know I love her. But you know, we we we're learning each other. I don't care what y'all say on this show. All of us have only known each other for a couple years. I didn't know nobody when I came on this show. Yeah. I didn't come in with friends like the other girls. I don't do that. I stand on my own and whatever happened, happened. Well. <laughs> and then, you know, just friends just have their moments where they have spats, disagreements, miscommunication, and they sort it out and they deal with it. You know, it just so happens that we have to watch and deal with it. Well, I'm glad I haven't had none with y'all yet. Yeah, life happens, but and I'm just here to support my girls. Cold, like, if you come at me with respect, I feel like you'll get respect in return. You know, and when it comes to my girls, I know we're going to go through our ups and downs. Yes, I did feel some type of way when it came to me and Troy, but at the same time, you can ask the producer right here. I never even wanted that to come to the cameras. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. I mm. told you. He tried. I, I literally tried my best, but I'm like... That a real nice. <laughs> they said, Dr. E, let me tell y'all a real tea. I don't know who in the chat, but y'all better get some exclusive tea. Oh, when we got them emails close, close, close. For, when we got the emails for chasing Atlanta. That was after that was pre filming that they did in January. We yep. really started filming when y'all seen my photo shoot for the AIDS and Thrive and all that. Y'all, that's when we really started filming in April. So for y'all all to be clicked up, hanging out, doing all that shit, like girl, 
I see all the bullshit that's going on, and that's why my feelings was hurt with Troy. I was like, oh, so we better go into the season like this? And you still not going to call me? That's all I was saying. So whatever happens on camera, me and you both can look dumb as fuck, but you know how Dario get down. You mm. know he's going to bring this shit to the light. So how did you enjoy that? <laughs> so you mean to tell me he was shaking his ass to Rico shit knowing damn well you ain't fuck with that Why? bitch? Why she was me down, bitch. It was I shake my ass to that song at my house too. So you know what? Chimmy was funny as hell. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I'm like, my Troy is real too. buddy buddy of Rico, and they was just knocking each other out last season. That is real juicy. Why? That's what I said. Cross on me. But but no, 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 no. I never I never want my friends to like beef with a bitch because I'm into a with them. Never. Period. Never. But I just I mean the support. When Nini said, support me, bitch. Like, Period. <laughs> that's all I, I think want. Rico did that on purpose. She booked her because she knew it was your friend. And she was being messy when she did it. That's what I meant. Carl. Rico, you need to cuss that bitch out. Carl. <laughs> Rico, if you don't cuss that bitch out. I like I see it. Now I believe Dominique when he said it was you that said it at that table last year. It because was. Why are we bringing back? Oh, it was, it was that bitch, and Carl played in my face that night. But we did I? Okay, now you bitches want to unpack. Tramel, you shake that head one more time, bitch. Let me Girl, tell y'all what that really happened. Tramel, that's what happened that tell night. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Let I was that you stupid bitch. I'm sorry, can I say that? You, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch. you, you know you told me that at Tinta P, my bitch. At Tinta P, I was talking about something completely different. I was giving you words of wisdom, bitch. We gonna words stay on of this wisdom. Season. You Look took my word, called it, this flipped it. Rico, why the fuck would you tell me that bitch was going to apologize and that bitch came out there and hit me in my shit? I, and I did not know she was going to do that. We'll talk at the reunion, Dominique. We'll talk. We're going to talk. <laughs> yeah, fucking Rico. Oh, bitch. yeah. Y'all got to gotta say it. Okay, well, Dominique, you got to say it. So before we had that conversation, <clears throat> okay. I thought of it. They called me a messy ass bitch all last season in the comments. And I bitch, she was kind of messy. Though. I was typing. And was nobody singing it. You was kind of messy though at that table, girl. Girl, you shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm tired of you, bitch. <laughs> I mean, you did it ambiguously. I know what she was doing. Wait. You was acting like you said, because they asked you, they was like, oh. They asked, they you, they asked the like, question. I was just telling what I had knew. I didn't even know. You what didn't was say that. On. You didn't even say that. You was just like, I mean, if he got something, you'll know soon. It's you, like, uh, if she got something, you would know. My bitch ain't gonna hold no tea. You know she that gonna lie to have nothing. She go bro, expose a bitch. You know that. This was Carl and Tinta P money being home. I, I was not. I was, right. I threw some seasoning on the top of that shit. If but anything, you did. and the, I wouldn't even know. I remember at verbatim. I was like, "Oh, girl." You know what? Fuck <laughs> all you bitches. I'm emotional. <laughs> not fuck all y'all. No, fuck but all Rico, y'all. I, got no, I, got I got a question for Rico. I got a question for Rico. Hmm. So tell us, tell us about your Angela Bassett performance in that scene. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad somebody finally. Asked where, 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 who, who told you to say that, and why did they tell you? Right. To like okay, that? here we go. Here we go. So right before the scene was shot, it, Dario was like, "Hey, I need you to um let everybody know this," and he told it to me, and I was like, "I gotta do it." Like me, um, okay, oh shit. Okay, and go. Um, y'all. Um, I just got this information that. Um, Girl, why you gotta say it like she had died? Baby, you say <laughs> that. I was still processing it, but she was so fucking dramatic. Talking about some shit that's no longer with us. I said, what the fuck happened to Kendra? You said she, you basically said that that lady has passed on the glory. Ah, no, I didn't. <laughs> I, I swear to God, you did. Because when I was looking at it, I'm like, is she dead? Like, what? I thought the same thing. I was like, girl, what the fuck happened? <laughs> like, girl, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Y'all, no, it wasn't. No, I was shocked when I was like, I got to be the one to tell this. I don't know what to say. And I didn't know exactly the extent of what was going on. I was like, she's not with us. Because keep watching. <laughs> but I said the right thing when I said what I said. It was, it was. Jeremy, a take your ass to bed, bitch. You was going to sleep on us. He is. I'm sorry. Jeremy, <laughs> ask me a question. I heard you have a lot to say. What's going on? Yeah. Well, get, him, get, get my milk done. Yeah, bitch. <laughs>
Look, see up now. Don't sit to, up now, man. <laughs> you want me to? You want me to go? <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I necessarily, I necessarily didn't have a lot of questions for you per se. My questions more so are for seven. That's where I'm oh, here we go. my questions going to come. Well, come you can you can direct your questions to me. What's going on? I don't do representatives. Service. I want to talk to her directly. Because my Why sister show is not so being with <laughs> Your sisters, your sisters, your sister's shoulders are kind of uppercase. We're not, I'm not going, we are not she, gonna But go. she moaning. She's moaning. I mean, that don't, does that it's fix gonna shoulders? It's going to all soften up. What is, leave her shoulders it's alone. Some, it's, some, it's some wide shoulder women out there. They ain't, they ain't got nothing to do with the moans. Okay. She, Next that's, just, that's just her bone structure. So what you said her shoulders were distrustful. Yeah, they are distrustful. <laughs> and I want to know what a distrustful that, shoulder was. You I, I believe you had questions about why um Dominique was uh calling seven and she wasn't calling Willa. Do you want to direct those questions to him? I mean, See, not I, because I, I, I'm, I'm mean, like, no, because he can't answer that only seven can. Mm. I mean, you can ask them about their dynamic and the friendship. Do you do you want to talk I'm to not, Seven? I'm, I want to hear yeah. what Seven got to say. You want to talk about, to Seven next week? Because she's going to um, be waiting on you at the door. Ooh. <laughs> you know she's Leo. We'll tell, we'll tell her to come and you know, in. Leo ain't going to never hold you up, bitch. <laughs> we'll, tell her, we'll tell her that she's welcome to come in at any time that she wants. Got it. Don't be scared, Don't be scared now. Nah. Get your planner out, bitch. What happened? Don't be scared now. Get nah. your planner out and get Seven on here next week. Oh, I surely will, honey. I just like I just want to y'all don't know me well. I mean, oh, I, know Scott, you. I mean Scotty does, but like y'all don't know me well. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm not shaken or stirred by nobody. We know you're but, not. But Why what I'm saying. Be? But what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is everything that I've seen on the show from Seven Drew Friday, whatever one she goes by, you know, both is is is, is inauthentic. <laughs> so I'm not. Okay, that's get that's, not, that's not gonna shake me. I like until she can until she can give me a reason why you know she was able to call everybody else except for Willie. I can a agree dog with that. sitting on the carpet. I can just okay. <laughs> no, when she said that, I wanted to call her. I'm like, bitch, are you serious? <laughs> I wish Troy would have said in my face and was like, girl, we went talking because my dog couldn't stop. Shit. She <laughs> owed Willow that money. That's why she ain't come, bitch. Call us oh fame God. what it is. Oh my God. She owed her that the money. Dog shit it. it wasn't a dog, it was the cash app. <laughs> but like I said, <laughs> that's like, why she ain't called Willow. So none of like none of like I don't really necessarily have any. I mean, y'all to me wasn't really like the center of like the of his frustration tonight. of the of the chaos okay. for me to for for me this episode. I don't really feel like you did anything <laughs> wrong that I need to cross examine you on. So why I mean, don't you I, give them their flowers while they're here? Because you said such good things about them both. I mean, I mean, like Rick already knows. Rick already knows that I see it for him. I've been doing. I've been seeing it for him since last season. But I mean, we didn't really review last season. But I, I always show him love when I go to his um, page. And I already told Dominique on the when we was in the past live, I was like, I'm gonna just start it off on a clean slate. Because I did not, because I did not like Dominique on the last season. I actually didn't want him on the show after like about the sixth or seventh episode. <laughs> Don't worry. Really? <laughs> I'll but, be like, but, what around I, what somewhere. Saying, what I, but what I'm saying is like, you know. <laughs> As long as somebody, as long as some, as somebody being consistent about who they are and what they're about, I don't find any issue. But I'm just saying, I don't really vibe with what you know, with what Drew Seven Friday is putting down at all. And it, I, I won't never, I won't never be about it. And I just thought it was you real. Can't say never. I won't never be. Well, hey, I mean, y'all not coming. I mean, y'all not, com not coming back. This gonna be the end. Okay. You are on episode two. I don't really think she's gonna rebound for me on episode ten. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe if you have a conversation with her, and you can get a little bit into her mindset. Maybe you'll understand. You might not necessarily still not like her. I mean, that's fine. I mean, that's fine. But if she waiting on, a, where she waiting at the door, like Nick says that she is. Oh no, 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 no. She just. No, I'm just like, she really she really she not to herself. I'm just okay. kicking. I was like, she really ain't gonna like me then. But like, all I'm saying is, at the end, is at the end of the at the end of the day, like, I don't know y'all personally. I'm only going based on the show. Like, if I was to see any of all any of y'all out somewhere, I'm not about to be like, oh, it's that bitch need. I'm not. I don't. You've been know giving that. that bitch energy all night. I mean, 
I mean, I, I can't live for Jeremy. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I live mean, for when Jeremy. you really, when you are that, I can't hope that I, I may or may not be that bitch. But I be trying of- to tell, I be trying to tell Jeremy that Dominic, uh, like he be thinking that don't nobody really be living for him. But a lot of people that watch this panel do be living for Jeremy. Yeah. I get messages about it all the time. Like people. That's why I'm giving it. him a hard time now. I'm just like, what's up? I live bitch? for Jeremy too. I'm sure you do. I'm sure you. I'll be right back. <laughs> But like, but yeah, I thought I think I think that you definitely made a a good turnaround. I I'm pleased. I'm pleased. You have not you have not disgusted me yet. Anybody that wears a permanent smile when they talk is not to you. Jason, <laughs> get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, wait, is he talking about like is he talking about me or Drew? Uh, uh, it's about Drew. It's about bitch. You wanna you wanna, you wanna fight seven. somebody so bad. Who? So you? No, I don't. Because, yeah, because Jeremy want to fight. Just called, he just called seven seven deadly sins already, so he's talking about seven. Can I can I say something real quick? Yeah, go ahead. I've always advocated for Dre Simba to be on Chasing Atlanta. She I been a great addition. I like the drama. Like I'm like y'all said that bitch in here. Wait, wasn't wasn't he like getting into it with somebody on another oh, show? Hey. He was on Chasing Dallas. He was on Retreat. Don't say it would have been sickness to switch out Kane for Drew Simba. Didn't they say Drew Simba is a Republican? Dre Simba. Dre, Dre, why y'all call him Drew? Y'all must be talking about the young and the rest. Of y'all call him Drew Silla. <laughs> not is he like, wait, is, is it true that I thought I could have sworn on Twitter somebody said like he is a Republican? He is. Oh, yeah. Die hard. You got to see her comment. She outrageous, bitch. Dre Simba just be trying to get y'all felt as rough. <laughs> okay. Baby, I would have loved, I would have loved that swap out. Yeah, is there is there um is there a little bit of tea with that remark? No. Well, bitch, <laughs> that whole give her a couple episodes. She coming. Stop being messy. She she's coming. I'm gonna tell you what you want to know. I ain't gonna tell you what you want to know. Say, you know how Drew had t- said that tap was action. It's a lot of tapping this season. A lot of tapping. Mm. Then I say this. That whole remind me of Jackie Chrissy. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Kane, okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah Kane I don't, I don't, I'm not Kane really familiar. I'm not really, vibes. I'm not really familiar with Kane. I know that he was a part of like the Dallas, but I wasn't. I just started watching um Chasing Atlanta about si- Chase the Chasing series about like six months ago. So I've been trying to catch up to all of this. So I did remember. I think like seeing him on some past episodes, but I just thought it was like weird, like the like the. The interaction between him and like Oliver, I was like, eh, it's kind of cringy. What was it given? It was it was given le- like it was given. Can if I lick your asshole, can I be on the show? That's what it was giving me. <laughs> oh wow, okay. I well, mean, but I don't, I don't, I don't really, I don't really know him. I don't really know him that well, so I guess I'll have to fill him out a little bit more. I didn't right. really get to see much. I, I mean, he coming, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes okay. and how I. And how I, you know, how I feel per episode. Okay. Well, I think he, I think he gets active next episode. I think y'all will see more Kane because you know, as y'all seen in the preview, we're having an event next week and child. Oh, that's where him and Troy gonna fight. Yeah. Uh, not y'all. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. Okay. Well, can you can you show proof of life that the dog that you had in the confession is alive? Apparently, the review. Oh, okay. So he look a mess right now. So it's gonna be real quick. Hey, baby. Hey, Mac Daddy. But that's just his vibe. So if I put him right here right now, what he look like? He dead. Look. Right? <laughs> <laughs> just be chilling. <laughs> They was like, why he uh, abusing the baby? Is the baby dead? Oh, my God. Call the CPS. That baby <laughs> live a good life. And Jamal, you know that. Right. Okay. Look These that. dogs eat before I eat. Okay. Well, come over here. Do just- y'all have anything else to ask Rico and Dominique before we close this? Because it's getting late. Yeah, Scotty's trying to get I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> He will us the question. fuck off of here. <laughs> now I'm now like now that you know Carl has you know told me to get my fat ass up. Like I did see, I did see an inconsistency when I was watching the show because when you were when your man was like grilling those links in the backyard, you was like like my man, my man, my man. But when you got in front of Wayne, you was like, well, we not really in a relationship. So I was really confused uh-huh. about that. 
Oh, that's not what I said. I said we were in an open relationship, and everybody knows, and Carl knows that my man. <laughs> Carl, like now, where am I? And is this the same man? And is this the same man? I don't know if I don't know if I was if I if I if I'm making this up or if I saw this somewhere. Yeah, you be doing same, that. Is this the same man? Like later on, that you was talking about, only got with you, or people were saying they got with you simply to get on the show. Yep, I said that. Yep. Yes, that is my. And you should have never dated that man. Yes, that is my ex boyfriend, and yes, that is the um, that is what's going to probably transpire later on. And he, is he still your boyfriend? Hey, bitch, you need to go follow these bitches on live, but you missing the real is on Instagram. This kind of work. I, I barely, I barely, you have got, been missing it, bitch. I this bitch give us a go, show for two months. <laughs> Look, so my so then my next question for you is. Now in your now I know how how you know the LGBTQ element of PQRS TV uh, uh, YZ how we grow. <laughs> now you said that he changed your life in so many positive ways, and he just changed. Can you tell me some of those ways? What in what ways did he change your life in a positive? Um, he actually was a driver. Um, with the I'll say that. Insurance and a lot of stuff help uh, fix when it came to me working on my blood pressure and all that kind of stuff because mm -hmm. he healthcare field. So, for a, a specialist when the, when I was working on my high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, and cool. That's really all. That's really all I had to ask. Thank you. He's a great guy. He's a sweet guy. Just didn't work out, and you know things went left all the way. You're gonna get, watch it, basically. Are you gonna fight anybody this season? <laughs> Jeremy Lano. Jeremy Lano. I hope you do. I get I, I, I like when you pull out the mace and the tasers. Not mace and tasers. Hey, you're living in the past. That is not good. But 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 you know, not on Neek though, you know. Um, not like not on him, but I'm just saying, like, I I enjoy seeing you get active. Well, I'm trying not to be that person anymore. It's time to grow up. Okay, he's trying yeah, okay, yeah. He want he he's an actor. <laughs> he's a he's a girl. He, he's trying. He's trying. To, he's, oh, trying, to, he's, trying to, he's trying to break into his profession. So at the end of the day, I understand. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind seeing you bust a bitch upside the head at least one more time before the show go off. So you urban like Carl is. I never claimed I that I was not urban. Like, I already but told. I, I, I already, me all night. I, I've said it multiple times that me and Carl are two sides of the same coin. Like we really said the same shit. Okay. I'm not. Wait, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. All right, y'all. We gotta hurry this up. Scotty got dick. Okay. That is not what that is. I have a video to do. Stop doing. Stop trying to. Stop selling my body on these lives, bitch. Well, oh, hell, hell, I you been giving it away. <laughs> anyway, I want to say thank you to Rico and Dominique for coming up here. You guys are welcome to come up as much as you want to for the remainder of the season. <laughs> Right. I'm gonna get another girl to turn. Maybe I should get Wayne up here. Oh Oops. yes, Wayne is seven. On I would love. Show. I would. I would love. I would love that. I have so many questions. So I know many. I have so many questions for Wayne. No, I am not Rakesha. Don't be listening. Yes, to he's selling bunny pussy, bitch. Okay, so okay. thank you, Rico and Dominique. Um, I'm about to close mm -hmm. this thing out. Thank y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. Hurry up and close this shit because I ain't got time for Carl to be trying me. Anyway, so <laughs> with that being said, I hope everybody enjoyed tonight's panel. It looked like y'all did, honey. We almost had 300 folks up in this live. That means the we show did it. Two and honey. <laughs> the show is growing, honey. Okay, the show is growing. Now, before we go, what does everybody have going on? Jamar, T, y'all can come back to the camera now so y'all can tell the people what y'all got going on. You should still own. Yes, ah, still on. Jamar, you ready, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, the only thing I got going on Friday, I closed on this house, period. And period. That's the only thing that's consuming my life. I'm about to drop a lot of money tomorrow, but I'm really, really depressed about it. But and I'll... Jamar has a song called Shooting Star coming out yeah. with me soon. Whenever we get to do the things that we need yeah, to do. Yeah, we go in the studio, bitch. Because the bitch want to be <laughs> the bitch want to be Brandy so bad and redo her vocals, honey. Okay. You. <laughs>
Okay, T. T and Jamelon with the sleep on oh, us. Let's, let's talk about uh, me for a minute. <laughs> uh, I got the same old, same old, nothing new, except Loving Hip Hop Miami. I am going to get that out to y'all tomorrow on the second channel because I'm sick of y'all asking me about that and shit. there will be no Trina slander. And so you watch yourself, bitch. I'm going to be watching. Wait, so I mean, listen. Drag she, her she and was those, getting on my nerves. Drag right? her <laughs> and those neck rolls. Jeremy, you can <laughs> shut the fuck up, bitch. There will be no Trina slander on this bitch. <laughs> but drag, other than that, drag I'm her. That new. That's it. Tramiel. Um, I just have my new single. Uh, come back on camera, bitch. No, I'm laying in the bed. I cannot do that for you. Uh, um, I'm professional, bitch. Hey. <laughs> I was about to say something so shady. Um, so, <laughs> um, yeah, I have my single, Long Days Out. That's the last single that I'm doing for the rest of this year. Um. That's what I'm promoting. That's what I'm on. That's the vibe that we're giving for the rest of the year for me. Um, and that's it. Just check it out and, you know, follow my YouTube channel. See my old videos and shit like that. Period. And uh, Tramiel is going um, viral on Instagram, child. Yes, for being nasty. I am. Yeah. Seven what? And we love it. Yeah, I got 85,000 <laughs> views on one reel. That's what's up. Okay. Okay, Carl, a.k.a. K-Star, what you got going on, honey? Hey, so I have a couple of things going up. I got some shows coming up. I'm hosting a show um, with Mayday Muse from On The Way Up with Neek Neek. Um, we are like the AJ and Free of the of his showcase show that y'all can catch live. It will be on the On The Way, on the Way Up channel. Y'all can catch that there. Got a couple of shows lined up coming up at the end of the year, so y'all will hear more about that. I also have my album coming out, King Shit, that will be coming out featuring Jamar. And I'm introducing y'all some other people that's coming up, so y'all get to see that. If y'all like to hear that nasty music, then y'all need to get with me. I got a single, first single dropping. It's called Cock Goblin. So y'all can gobble up some dick, period. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's about it. I yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, Jeremy. Um, real quick, um, Markel, I think had a question in the comments, but um, so with me right now, I'm just really working. Um, like I'm talking about my nine to five. Uh, I'm not really active on my channel, so I don't really have anything coming up. Like and like in the immediate future, right now, I'm I'm healing. I'm on a healing journey, so I'm not I'm not in the space to be making content right now. But I'll be back soon. Hopefully by like November or December. But you're here with us. Yeah. But like, but like that's because I respect you and your platform. And I like I, I have obligations. Absolutely. First so. of all, thank you. And when it comes down to me, uh, I am less, what the hell? I am 70 nope. subscribers away from 49k. So uh, thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to the platform. Number two, I want to thank these wonderful guys up here. Um, as of how many hours ago has been? About four hours ago, I found out that a cousin of mine passed away. And these guys, <laughs> especially Carl, have made me laugh today. And um, this panel was just what I needed to to make, you know, to get through the day. So if it wasn't for these, you know, Five guys, I would, I don't know where I would be right now mentally, but thank you guys. But I do want to say one thing before we go. When I was telling them in the group message that my cousin passed, everybody else was like, Oh, I'm so sorry, or damn friend, I hate, I hate that happened. But Carl asked, uh, I'm sorry, bitch. <laughs> like, what? And hey, you know that's how he said it in real life. Like you <laughs> when I tell you, when I tell you, I was trying my best. <laughs> not to not to cackle in that group check. I, I, I know, am sorry, I, bitch. I didn't know what the reaction was gonna be, so I was like, Carl. Just, <laughs> just, why you gotta be like that? I had, to, I, had to, I had to fill it out before I started before I started cackling. Because once I, I said I want to be sad, bitch. Like once once I said this um sorry bitch got me tickled. And then that's what Jeremy said. Thank God you said so because I was trying to hold it in. He's like, Rich, why do you say that? <laughs> Girl, because she's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's one dumbass girl. Y'all gonna learn soon. <laughs> Look at her looking like I a like dumbass Barney. <laughs> but like I said, once again, 
Thank you guys for being here for me, of course, as usual. And thank you to the subscribers. Thank you for everybody for tuning in. Like I said, this was the highest view live that we had, child, so far. So oh, and somebody asked what name my song was. It's not Top Goblin. It's Cock, as in Dick. Dick Goblin. Like Cock <laughs> Goblin. It's cock cock goblin. as in Bird. Boy, yeah, as uh, in Bird. Bird. As Chicken. in Rooster. Cock Goblin. As oh, Mark, goblin, goblin Markel, I... I think you're gonna have to rewind, rewind the show to get because he said because he said why he don't like seven a million times, Chad. Yeah, I, I really listen. did. Well, well next um, week I'm gonna I'm gonna send you the clip so you can play the clip on here. <laughs> <laughs> but um, with that being said, we'll be back here next Wednesday right after the show as usual. And when this goes off, I gotta curse all these guys out. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys watching. Bye, y'all. <laughs>